Good evening. We are on a level 7 high P train. Seven. Gracious. Wait, this is the wrong one. This is the one. Hi. <laughs> I know how my streams work. Kind of. A little bit. Sometimes. Occasionally. Sometimes. A little bit. All right. Uh, hi, everybody. For oh God! Fallout, Fallout 4. Wish that I could play some more. But I did it all, and then I should that let's play the door. I started at the beginning, and then my ears kept on a ringing. And I keep on singing about my favorite moment. If I think I had to choose, there's one place I thought I'd lose against a great beast in the Northeast. I thought him would be not weak then we fought and it was not what i thought it would be his eyes were red and he was small and i thought he'd be bigger <sighs> jesus christ <sighs> the red death the red death <sighs> if you played fallout 4 if you've seen the let's play you know what i'm talking about why are you winded i'm the one who went for a four and a half mile walk someone make her sing he like deserves it, deserves it based just on that comment. Like, why are you winning? Huh? That was 9500 from Camulos Magnus. He says, sing about your favorite moment from your Fallout 4 Let's Play. Uh, I mean, honestly, my, my actual favorite moment was crafting the ending. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to talk about the ending because I, I don't want to spoil it in case people haven't seen it and they want to see it. But like, the ending is my favorite thing of any project I've ever done on Steven Plays. Not even close. But from a game perspective, um, probably Red Death. Red Death was fun. Anyway, okay, I'm alive. I'm, I'm doing good. Hey, it's Friday. It's Friday. I'm gonna play a Zelda. Mm-hmm. Anyway, all right. Let's um. Hi, Subby. Y'all trying to kill me? Is we've been live for three minutes and you're trying to. You're trying to kill me. That was 48 months. Hey, it's 48 months. 48 months from Link to Best 100 to Tier 3. Congrats on the four. And my heart is pounding. We got a, we got a subscription from uh, Wise uh, Murmur. Or Memer? Memer. Memer? Welcome. 38 months from Skaynork. 17 months from a guy astronaut. Let's do a little cooking. See what's cooking Hi, up Wimbler. with Radio Dread. Wimbler. Sticky Glob, Glob Corsair Bee honey, honey, Maple Syrup, White Choo Choo Jelly, and Sushi. And Sushi. All these things and then a prepared dish. Glue you to the floor, Sticky Rice. Oh. So sticky. Oh. I actually- I, I hate things that are sticky. I do, I do like Sticky Rice, although I don't know that I want it to be that You're sticky. You're very funny. Does. I'm really funny. Radio Dread, thank you. Also, Wimbler, hey. Been a bit. It has. Glad, glad to have glad you to here. Glad to see you. Glad to have you here. Very, very glad to have you here. Like, you know you're somewhere and you put your hand in something and then you're sticky and you're like, mmm. And I can't function until I'm... Also... I've washed my hands and gotten sticky. Also, really children are just sticky. Yeah, children are sticky. They just always... Like, for the first, like, Speaking several of children, years of their lives. Here. Come say hi. He never sticky. Um, he had his tail in something the other day that was sticky. <laughs> he tried to run. Hi. Hi, baby. Say hi. Look at this face. Good boy. 22 months from Swift for Sweeper. 43 months from Seemingly Jess. 37 from Smart Guy. 93. Uh, we got 28 months from uh, Seal 17. Uh Oh my god, Aldo, come on! Come on! Come on! Aldo! No! <laughs> Yeah, this on Mal's side is the biggest mood. It's the 
biggest mood. Armored Frog. Mouse song better than Steven's song. Thank you, everyone. I was really expecting you to say, like, grapes or the name of some fruit. Grapes are not silence. Wow. Was it Confucius who said that originally? Yes, it was, actually. I'm Gra glad you know that. Yeah, grapes are not silence. Mm -hmm. Also, it's a good raid message. <laughs> that was 5,000 bits from all of those. Steven requested Mouse song. So just sing a song of silence. Cool, 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 cool. Glad everyone's everyone's on my team. It's fine. Uh, oh god, <laughs> Jesus! Mal, you have done so much for us, and you're fun. And I think you're the one that should hang out with me, cause I like you a lot. Sometimes I have some snot, but I blow my nose and then it goes away from my body and then I'm clean again. I don't have any sin. I have an allergy. You have to come back to me. Listen, I'm sorry, but you are great to me and you're great to everyone and everybody loves you and they don't so make you sing um, songs. So let's validate each other. Good job on getting your vlogs done today, and I know you got the Patreon video done and released. And you helped out our friends today by moving their <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Thomas says, you are without sin? Are you sure about that? <laughs> Sorry, I imagine, I imagine that's what Thomas did at his computer. Steven is full of sin. I don't like that my friends are the ones that are like, let me tell you about the sin. Thomas spot on. Jesus. Tim Robbins and Steven is hilarious. That was, that was very Tim Robbins. Wow. Second half of that song was a little bit wrong. Want to make sure I say sorry for the way I put that into words. Everything that you heard really should have just said you are great. Did you know that you are great? Especially when we stay up late and you need like a cookie and I get it like your bookie. Then you get a, a thing, then you put it in your mouth and you're so excited about dessert and I did it for you. Wait, what were we talking about? Where were we? <laughs> What? I got a little lost. Listen, you can't- I made a skillet cookie last night. That's Listen. what he's talking about. Yeah, sorry. I. This this is like tangentially connected. Mal made a cookie for me last night. She made a cookie, except in my song, I made the cookie. Yeah. But I was just saying that if you wanted- You're thinking about I, that cookie I was, I was thinking about the cookie. Sorry, listen, y'all can't attack me with the with the Kirby song at the beginning of the stream. You know, no, put it on the Google it's Doc. It's very, it's very difficult. <sighs> it was a brown no one, butter skillet cookie, no and made, it was delicious. No one made Mal sing. No one did that. Haley says it was just one large cookie. It yes. was a great cookie. Listen, it was very let me, good. Let me let me let me let me talk for just a second. Let me talk for just a second. First off, came those thank you. I appreciate it. Although I really wish someone would make Mal sing, please. Um, but Subby, hi. <laughs> Thank you, Dishnet, for the tier three sub to Cookie Bookie. Kid Khalid wants to know more about the cookie, so I brown some butter, and then you kind of just make up a dough and you put it in a cast iron and you bake it. Yesterday was day five thousand of the vlog. So we made a giant cookie and we had all of our friends over to celebrate. So we wanted to celebrate 5,000 mm -hmm. vlog days and Mal made a cookie and the cookie was great and it was on my mind because it was so good and I appreciated it so much. Mm -hmm. That's why that came out in the song. <sighs> Jesus. We also had ice cream and whipped cream and That's hot true. fudge and caramel and raspberry sauce and we used and all of it to make and cherries to make this this is cooking for seemingly jess <sighs> my heart hyrule herb restless cricket these are not things that you would typically put in a cookie these are the opposite these of what would go in a cookie like not tired 
From the cracks in a parking lot, protein salad. And a frog. A tiny frog could be there. I saw a tiny frog on my walk. Did you? It was the size of like my thumbnail. Yeah, little tiny ones. I've seen them even tinier or tighter than that. Uh -huh. They're very cute. Jess, thank you. Where were we? I got to get back to what I was doing. 19 months from Link Plus. Uh, Zada with the tier two, 24 months. <laughs> Zada, thank you. Gold toast, 42 months. From Boffinoff, we get 350 bits from Radio Dread. Says, whatever food my 1,000 bit alert generated, that's what this clown gets to eat for dinner. Anyway, happy Friday. I would be very afraid to make those statements on this stream yeah. where you could get you could get anything. anything. I mean, getting sticky rice is like pretty safe. <laughs> you, could, you could get anything. Let's do a little cooking for Zado and see uh, where we land. Marshmallow, that's all right. Bass, that's not a good combination. Monster extract and sausage. Spooky campfire kebabs. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear the song? Two versions of the <laughs> same song, perfectly synced. It's really good. It's pretty it's great. It's very spooky. It's pretty great that that happened. Um, yeah, I don't putting putting sausage and and um, bass together is an odd choice, but adding marshmallow. Have you ever to been that. to a fish boil like up in Door County? Did I never take you to fish boil? Oh, I know what we gotta do next time we go to Wisconsin. There's marshmallow. No. Oh. Okay. Anyway, Sado, thank you. Uh, we also got 22 months from a Clockwork Cory. Appreciate it. Skit Scott gifted five subs. Skit Scott, thank you. Uh, to uh, Free Drummer, uh, Bassmith Zero, or BA Smith Zero, Purple Pixel, Kyle Jensen 8, and Witty Kitsune. Skit Scott, thank you. Uh, we got 57 months from Ultra Husk. Uh, 1,000 bits from Busy Kick. It says, food not made by Microscopic Edward must, be, must have been made by his biggest rival, Biggie Sammy. <laughs> Ah yes, Biggie Sammy. We 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 spit on the name Biggie Sammy yeah. <laughs> in this household. Things we don't like in this household. Gartic phone and Biggie Sammy. Uh scroll up a second. Sure. Just, 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 just there we go. Jim Prower, actually, um, for a while I lived right by the old Oshkosh terminal. The old Oshkosh. So we would watch the planes come in for EAA. We got uh, 31 months from PK Daisy, 19 months from Sam Stargazer, 13 from Kadrion, five subs from Seemingly Just to Night Owl, 20 Ruby White Rabbit, Yuki Mizuno, Dragon Trainer, 234, and Jezza Gaming, 1998. Jess, thank you. Appreciate the gift subs. 38 months from Nano Carp, zero. 35 months from Advil Melon. Let's do a little cooking for Gold Lighting. <clears throat> oh, food in my throat. Acorn. Cocoa. Donut. Tortilpo. Oh, oh. <clears throat> no, you could do that, because it'd be like a like a sweet crepe, but like Un in a tortilla instead of a crepe. It it doesn't it's not repulsive. No, it's not repulsive. There are things that show up that are repulsive. That's not repulsive. Listen, sometimes we're out of bread and I take a tortilbo and put uh, cashew butter and jam on it and I roll it up and they eat it. Yeah. Hi, do you need I a mean, I'm 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 always against food waste. So if like the tortillas are gonna go bad, mm -hmm. like just also you can just eat them. You just eat tortillas. Again, kitty. He's like, I don't know how this keeps happening. Can we me. sit? Lady? Well, lighting. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> what about an acorn when you're on a walk? Just a little snack. Hey, just a little snack for you. Three bits from Howie Sona says, "Hey there, party people. If I may ask, how is Rocco doing? Uh, Rocco's doing." pretty good i mean rocco's an old boy so like uh he's old but for for old cat rocco has rocco's been doing well for doing old cat. astoundingly well mm -hmm. for his age i don't know how old rocco is 2006 17 i think rocco is 17 years old i'm pretty sure pretty sure he's 17 so he's he's getting up there he can't hear anymore. No. His hearing is gone. But otherwise, he seems to be doing pretty good. We got 12 months from Algasir. Congrats on the one. 
And let's do a little cooking for the Slick Duke. Peanuts. Beer mug. Cut of meat. Is this like a bar? I don't like where this is going. Oh, that casual steakhouse experience. Personally, I do not oh like my going to God. steakhouses that have peanuts. I just, we just took a trip to a Logan's Roadhouse. We did. You've went to Logan's Roadhouse. Uh-huh. Um, and I never enjoy going to places like that. It, if, because you felt like mm -hmm. you could die or... Well, there's like cross contamination. Oh um, no, that's true. That's how I feel about Five Guys too. But I like Five Guys, so it sucks. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the the Roadhouse is like that was just a thing, man. You you go there and you just fill up on peanuts, and then your food arrives and you're like, oh, I need room, and then you get yeah. it boxed to go. That that's a I haven't been to one of those places in a long time. It's funny because there's a lot of people that understand exactly what we're talking about, but there's a few folks that are like, "What?" Yeah. There are I don't know if this is like very American or what, but there are there are places where you go and you eat and they give you as many free peanuts as you want and you throw the shells on the floor. That's just part of the it's just experience. Part of it. Yeah, and then and then someone comes by and like sweeps up the shells. You don't do that at Five Guys. You just get them. Yeah, five at Five Guys, guys you, you do not throw them on the ground. But you do get them, them for free. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are like, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, that's like a th that's There's multiple restaurants um, that that do that. I can't, I don't know. It Maybe it's, it's a very a, American thing. I can't explain. It's a chain. <laughs> I don't, I've never really been to a, like an actual Texas steak place, except those chain ones. Yeah, maybe that, I don't know if that started from, like, Texas mm -hmm. Steak Places, or if that's, like... Part of their gimmick. Part of their yeah. gimmick. I don't know. Anyway. Slick Duke, thank you. Uh, we got 30 months from Break All the Pots! If you're into bits some Game Lover, uh, 789 says, I just got home from work. I am excited to spend my evening watching you play Zelda. Thanks. I'm excited to make some progress. Uh, last week, we learned that we're going up a mountain now. <laughs> Some, it just happened. It just happens. Who could say? Who Why? could say? Uh, three to bits from Blaze, who says, Clown for the level seven. Uh, we like a level seven clown. Bigger than usual. Let's do a little cooking for Camulus Magnus. What we got? We got soda water. We got cane sugar. We got banana. Banana soda. This is banana soda. Jones banana cane sugar soda. Did they make a banana soda? I don't. I've never had it, but almost certainly Jones has been it around must, a long time. They've been around a long, long time. Yeah. I remember being in middle school and biking to the corner store. Yeah. Which we weren't actually allowed to do, and buying Jones. I would try. I would definitely try banana Jones. I, I, I've, I've never had that, but I'm sure that that probably yeah exists. Camulus, thank you. Uh, we got 46 months from Leafly, 33 from Lost Vagabond, 51 from Colin DePee, 28 from Jim Prower, 500 bits from Zyler, it says, it's my birthday on Tuesday, oh god, I'm almost 30. The irrepressible march of time comes for us all. Happy early birthday, Zotto. Happy early birthday. It... It's not so bad. Yeah. It's not so bad. I was, like, I was talking to Haley about this earlier, I was like, I'm really enjoying my 30s. I am too. I'm really enjoying mm -hmm. my 30s. When you're in your 20s, I feel like sometimes you, maybe older people make you feel like, ah, you have fun in your 20s, and then it gets hard. And like, no, I, I don't know. I feel like my 30s are better than my 20s. I don't know. I hit 30, and maybe it's therapy, but like, I love myself. Good. That's the best place to be. Mm -hmm. Let's do a little cooking for Murmur. Don't let people know we talk. <laughs> Lemon, lime. Lemon, lime, soda, soda water. water. And a wine glass. Do you want any more of this homemade Sprite? Not until you figure out what Sprite else Sprite wine! Out. We went to Sprite wine. Of course we did. Chat called it. Of course we went to Sprite wine. It's a, it's a famous Mallory invention. Sprite wine. It's, uh, it's when you mix uh, wine <laughs> and, <Sprite>. and sadness. <laughs> <laughs> Murmur. Thank you. Uh, we got 22 months from Kit Khalid, 34 months from Brianna906. Let's do a little cooking for Lindsay, 86. Raw prime meat. Hylian rice. 
bird egg, soy sauce, onion. This could be any number of things. There's not enough salt in that. It's got soy sauce in it. Mm, needs more. This. <laughs> it needs more. Beefy Brandon bowl. When you when you need a a beefy. It's because we did the Brandon. Was he on the stream with me when we did the the beef bowl? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's a, yeah. a little bit of a throwback from when you made beef Korean beef bowl yeah. with with Brandon. <laughs> Soy me partner. This is, this is a family stream. Uh, we got 27 months from Kerbab, 22 from Zeospace, 14 from Jefferson314, 20 months from Corlon22, 49 months from Silvana, and 23 months from Chatterbox96. Thank you all. We got through the alerts. Let's take a little look at the art, because there is some art That's to take right, a peek Alex. at. Let's do this. There we go. Fly me to the moon. <laughs> Fly me to the moon, send a Korok to its death. <laughs> Actual science needs bigger sample sizes. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> Meet Grinder with a hood ornament. The car. Uh... Gosh, I should have taken that Korok with us. We didn't know. <laughs> I mean, maybe you did. You were like, I'm not going up the mountain, and then you just did. I followed a path and went up the mountain. This is this is very good. <laughs> this is very good. The worst game of <laughs> Ring Around the Rosy. <laughs> Something tells me that's not the last we've seen of Master Coco. Yeah. I believe so. <laughs> fairy, 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 second fairy. Enhance my pants. That's something that we also have to like eventually deal with is that we've met, we've seen a fairy but we haven't got inside the thing yet. <laughs> you know, we didn't um we didn't we didn't kill it. That's all that matters. Thank you artists. Appreciate it. We got 300 bits of Omega the Kids who says, uh, Oh no, I'm late. Quick, recap the last five minutes using no war. Oh god, Jesus! Acclimatized. Acclimatized. I learned it's acclimatized. It's not acclimat. Accli. It's acclimatized. It's not acclimat. Acclimatize, acclimatized, acclimatized, It's not that. That's not what it is. So it doesn't matter what it's not. It's acclimatized. I looked it up on the internet. It's acclimatized, which is weird because we pronounced the other version acclimated. I find that weird. You become acclimated to something. Yes. Which is why I thought that the pronunciation of that word was... But it's acclimatized. Yeah, so I th because it's so close, I was like, oh, well, I know acclimated. So it's like, oh, it must be acclimatized. And then instead I said, like, um, like a different uh, word. So it's fine. Um, <laughs> thanks, Dan. Thanks. Praise the English language. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, that was 9,500 from Camulus. See, now that I know that it's acclimatized, I'll never mess up the word again. Only if you're trying to say the other one. Yeah, like if I have to try and say my version of it, then yeah, I can mess it up. But otherwise, there's no possible way for yeah. me to mess it up. Because now I know that it's, oh, they're completely different. Where was I? Uh, 300 from Omega the Kids says, I'm late, quick recap the last five minutes using no, no more than 10 words. Excited for kingdom tearing. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was probably 10 laughs. Which is a good... That's basically what happened. 45 months from Triforce Drummer, 59 from Tachi Gamer 96 19 from Terry A, and 15 from Blade Runner 6400. Are you ready to play the video game? You want to hear some sad news first? I broke one of my fingernails today. I'm so sad. I had to file them all down so I wouldn't break any more. And that they look more even, but they're not. Uh, 
I'm sorry. It's really sad. Are you ready to play a video? I am. Video game? Mm-hmm. This is the sad. This is the sad music. It is. Twenty nine months from Hotex page, and with that, alerts are paused. Uh, time to briefly wrestle with um, Windows Eleven for being the world's best operating system. Oh yeah, I gotta check the dryer. Remind me at eleven thirty five to check the dryer. What? Okay, you did. Can I like? Go ahead. Okay. Stop music. I'm gonna go over to video game. Okay. Video game. <gasps> Kitty cat. Are you oh, it's precious? Loud. That's right. It's always loud. It's always allowed. <clears throat> so here's the deal. Yeah. I'm listening. Here's the deal. Mm -hmm. I want this on YouTube, so I have to wait for it to load. <clears throat> so technically... Yeah. It is my turn to play the video game. Yes. However, I think maybe we'll start with you, because you're the one that started this mess going up the mountain. Uh-huh. It is my mess. So we will essentially flip-flop this episode. I'll let you play the beginning. Okay. So Mal's gonna take over, and um, didn't I just, you? I just gotta go up this mountain. Didn't you have a car? Right Where's your car? Uh, it... Is your car right behind you? Where's your car? Didn't what it happened go off to your? The edge? What happened to your car? You had a car. I did have a car. How did we forget what happened to your car? I mean, it did. I I don't know. Oh, I'm being, t oh, I'm being told that it does not continue through uh, a load. Look, I'm almost there. Oh. Well, then you can just, like, make a... C <gasps> Look what I found. Okay, well, new, right. new things. Uh, sure. Hello! My name is Nasby! I'm a treasure hunter and adventurer extraordinaire, undaunted by even the coldest snow. This area is frozen solid and packed with monsters. No one in their right mind would set foot here. Except me, of course. There surely must be treasure resting here on this mountain where everyone else fears to tread. That's what drove me to travel all this way to Mount Lanayru. Until I saw you, I really thought I'd be the only one. You must be here for the same reasons I am. And if you are, you'll be wanting to know what I know about the treasure. The truth is, by sheer luck, I overheard a legend relating to the treasure on this mountain while I was on my way here. I knew I was a genius for assuming there was treasure on Mount Lanayru. Do you want to hear the legend too? Great. Then listen up. I didn't say yes. For I am Nasby, the treasure hunter with nothing to hide. No criminal past. The legend goes like this. Skim across snow, from the spring high in the heavens to the mountain below. Pass through the rings of light to see the light of blessing. What do you think? That was the real legend of a real treasure passed down on this very mountain. And you know that with a name like Light of Blessing, the treasure's gotta be worth a bundle. I bet it's a shrine. I suspect the spring high in the heavens is referring to these springs. The treasure is as good as found. No, I bet it's a spring that's way up there. But yeah. All except for the finding it part. I don't know what to do with the rings of light bit. I, I don't see anything like that around here. But I won't give up, because, you see, <laughs> I am Nazby, the Dauntless Treasure Hunter, not to be confused with my noble steed, Dauntless. Yep, Shrine Quest. I mean, we need it. It give us the juice. Do we have enough? Uh, pre p pause? Does that show you? Or you can just come on up and pray. To Vance Swordsman, I can no longer sense the presence of the Mother Goddess statue which dwells in the vast canyon. What? 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 I gather that you know something of this? Well, you got a statue? 
the Mother Goddess statue is a towering sculpture who served as a model for the rest oh, of us. Oh, it's the one that was in that um, big area where we went and learned about all of the the chalk drawings with the because it was toppled. Remember, and we were like, "Oh, look, it fell over," but it had like cleared the opening to go. You know the little the, the figures that are dotting the landscape, like the they're like the famous pieces in England with the chalk. I know what she's talking about. I'm glad someone does. She dwells in a temple forgotten by all, resting at the end of a deep canyon. Yeah, I know. I know that one! It is true, then. The goddess statue in that canyon has toppled. These are real tidings, devout swordsman. That is the mother goddess statue. I implore you to help me to restore her. Okay. Seek the blue spirit Nadra, who chills the air around her as she dances across the heavens. When you have gained Nadra's claw, offer it at this spring. Who Nadra? I know who Nadra. A spirit who takes the form a of a great dragon. blue dragon, uh -huh. long in shape. Blue dragon also the name of a very fun Xbox 360 game. If you search the skies, you may spot Nadra near this very spring. Devout swordsman, lend me your aid. But what is a claw? Christ Jesus, I speak <laughs> of the sharp claws shrouded in cold on the tips of the blue spirit's limbs. Where claws tend to be. One who approaches too closely puts themselves at great risk. For a slicing. Shoot from afar, and a fragment should fall safely to the earth. I'll do it! Please, I beg this of you. Okay, so, quick. You got, like, lots to do. There's so, a lot of things. Wait, these, these, these things? Yeah, yeah. So remember when we went into the thing and learned about all of those? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where the map was. This, It was here. a map. Yeah, this is the, the Forgotten, Forgotten Temple. Temple. That the statue was toppled. That's the one. Oh, that's what the okay. I wish they would have been like, "Hey, remember that place with the map?" That would have been like, ah, kinda. So, I gotta get up. Yeah, still journeying up, still practicing uppies. Um, you could. I mean, you could get your car. No, my car's gone, remember? Well, can't you, like... Make a new car? Do you have... It's right here. How does the thing work, though? What thing? When you open up your L, when you L, could you L? No, L, big L. Can you big L? Big L. Big this. Old, yeah, that's the... Yeah, when the auto build... But I have to have the stuff for it. Do you? Yes, because if I do that, I pick my lovely car and I hit confirm, and then it's like, you need those materials. It doesn't use materials. But it can. It uses the Zonite. Okay, well then why can't I? I mean, because you're trying to build it in a mountain and not on a, on a surface, but yes, you can use Zonite to do the thing. The reason I ask about it is that I was thinking about it between the last time we played and this time. And if you build, if you have to build a thing mm -hmm. and you have it, you make your schematic, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense that you would have all that crap at the same place to build it all the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Because like there's parts of the game where they give you like a little a place that they're like, here's boards. And like, yeah, okay. But a lot of the time you, they you don't have that. Quick, quick, do you want me to land on one of these uh things up here? Always. Okay. hundred percent of the time. I love sky. Look at all that sky. Oh that's a lot of sky. That's way up more up than <laughs> way high. more up. It's way more high than up. Yeah. Way up, you know what I mean. Well, anyway. as soon as I get control back, I'm going to pull the map first to see what's nearby. Yeah, well, it shows you the map first, right? Yeah, it does. Surface map. You know, last time Sky last map. time we played, mm -hmm. I thought you were crazy for heading towards this mountain, mm -hmm. despite mm -hmm. the constant shrieks of, like, what are you doing? But now that you've done it, I'm like, yeah, it's good. So are you Let gonna... me just pull a map real quick. So, so you're pretty far away from that stuff. This is the really tall stuff. That is, that's really tall. Mm -hmm. But I could head to this. 
You could probably get there. Because this is this is where we're at, headed. Pull, pull your chute and use your um, bird boy. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Where is that? Are you... It's right below me. It's oh, it's circle. Oh, it's down there. Oh, it's real low. That's barely in the air. I assume that what they really want you to do is, like, get Nadra's claw from up here. For that. You know? Yeah. And it's a temple shrine. It is. Only from that direction. Oh, that's this is the thing. This is the treasure. See the glowing rings? Oh! Because he said heavens. That's why I said it was up, not here. You may want to save the game. I wonder... Oh, I mean, it says saving, but you don't trust it. Um, so my question is... I can either build something, or I can just... Uh, you have a parachute. Shield surf. Yeah. Yep, that's yeah, what that's, it wants me yeah, to do. Shield, you, well, you start your shield surf. And Sled then, shield. Oh my god, that seems like it's good for this. Uh-huh. You gonna equip it? Yeah. This is beautiful. So you gotta start your shield surf and, and then go through the ring and then, and then go through all the rings. And then you'll be you can shield surf with the thing attached to your you can you can paraglide with it attached yeah. to your feet. Yeah. So how do I do this again? It's like jump. It's it's real easy. Yeah. When you have your shield out. Which is what? Z R? Nope. Nope. R? Nope. Oh my god. You'll figure it out. R again? No, it's L2. It's L2. L2. Press L2 now. Okay. Okay. And then it's what? When you are in the air holding uh -huh. your shield, it's uh -huh. just A. If you think about it, it's just like... So if you okay. jump and you press... If okay. you jump and then you press A, uh -huh. you will be on the shield. Okay. Oh, that's B. Oh my god! Oh, Lord, help me. Oh, God. <laughs> you are on a timer. I see that. But you gotta get down there. But you have a little control. <sighs> Snowboarding course! You didn't think that you'd be playing SSX nope. Tricky. Nope. It's tricky to rock around. It's tricky to rock around, to rock around. That's right, on time. It's tricky. It's tricky, 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 tricky. It's tricky to rock around, to rock around. That's right, on time. It's tricky. Tricky, 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 tricky. Uh. Good work. I think you did it. If I get content ID for that, I'm going to scream. I'm going to completely <laughs> scream. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get a message from Here Dan. Is your potato. And he's gonna be like, "Hey, that that triggered it." <laughs> like I swear. Uh, all right. You've you've earned a potato. Thank you. Good good job on potatoing. The high spring and the light rings. I mean, your so your goal. Right. Yeah. Was to get on top of the mountain. Uh huh. And you did that. And now we have a teleport there. And now then we, have we got this. We have a teleport there. We have wherever we are. We will definitely be We're teleporting. Near the mountain. We'll probably almost certainly be teleporting back to the top of the mountain because I don't know where we are. We're <laughs> down from the top of the mountain. We well we're yeah Things we are right there. We definitely are. Well, we have to go back up. To oh, do the... it's one of these. We have to go back up to finish the treasure? I don't know if we'll have to talk to the guy. I don't know. The shrine imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. Outside equipment is forbidden beyond this point. I just did the snowboarding thing, and you gotta make me do this, I mean, too. I could do it if you want. Yeah, this is. I think this is a stealth one. <sighs> sure. 
I got right. us to the top of the mountain. You did. Uh, all right, wooden stick, long stick, shield, bow, and some arrows. Sure. So this is a stealthy boy. It's not even a stealthy boy. It's it. You have to kill everyone, right? Like that's how. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> that's how it worked. Oh, You've been spotted. That's how it worked last time. Yes. I think the the goal was that you had to kill everyone. So you have to kill everyone, and it's not that if you if you alert them you lose. That wasn't it. It's that if you die you lose. Yeah. It's just hard because like you only have certain things. Um, There's a hot air balloon back there. I think you can't auto build in here. That's interesting. Which I guess that makes sense. Uh, fuse, recall, ascend. All right, I'm trying to see what I have access to. Can you like go away? Because I'd like to maybe give him no. a second. Give him a second. Give him a second. Turn around. Turn around. Turn your little body around. Do it. Do it. Turn around. All right, you've chosen death. Welcome to hell. Oh, that was bad. Try a little higher. Good hit. All right. I didn't want to have to get... That was a... I used up an arrow, though. You used up two. I... Well, yeah. But one of them is probably still... So, did you see you had a candle back there? A candle? You can lift that. And there's a hot air balloon at the end of the... The ground. Okay, so I have... I have a candle. See the hot air balloon? Yeah. I could also... You know, like if I want the candle to be up here, like if I want to do some redecorating, if I want to channel my inner Martha Stewart. Do you see him down there? I see that little man. There's also a rocket. I see that. I, I'm curious how this stuff works. Like if I pull it. Well, it can't go through the laser. You'd have yeah. to like tilt it. Yeah, but I can tilt it. Yeah, and then. I'm good at tilting. I can tilt. Also, I see your arrow on the ground over there. Why is this candle here? Why is candle? Okay. I'm out of arrows, right? Yeah. Well, so. the one that you had is to the right. The one that I had? Yeah, go this way and then turn left. You saw one of my arrows? Yeah, the one that you missed. Shiny, shiny, Oh my shiny. god! Yeah. And I will probably want it. Yeah. So now I've, I've started to kill the constructs. They they have a thing. These yeah, guys don't know where I am? Yeah, they're, you're below them. They can't look down. They should probably be able to hear me. This... Will these explode? When you activate them, they go up. Well, my, my question is, can I... Is it possible to just shoot this... <laughs> to attach one to one of the constructs and then launch them? Well, I mean, just, like, shoot this up and, like, hurt them that way. I don't, I don't think so. I don't actually know how these work. Hold on. I need, to, I need to do this a little bit better. So this goes here. Well, they also walk. Yeah, I need to... This is going to be a hard time timing thing. Is this lined up? It kind of is. Listen, you only you only live once, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a shot. Here it comes. Oh they don't blow up. Why did I think they explode? <laughs> Alright, whatever. In my head I was like, that'll blow up and do good damage. No, it just takes things up. Alright. I got some stuff here. I got another bow. Even though I still don't have one So if have, you bring the candle... Arrow. Yeah, you have one. If you bring the candle over, this will go up in the air. Yeah. There's also boxes. That's stupid. Wait a minute. Uh, what did they give me? A horn. Horn. Uh, Drop it. Yeah, that should be fused to make weapon... Better horn. Weapon... To make better horn. Better stick. <laughs> to make better stick. Yeah. Um, Why? Whether my this this stick better, Why? so let's make this stick real good. Yeah, and then um, in order to not like kill my weapons too badly, I'm just gonna do this and drop and hope that there's something in this. There wasn't. Cool. That's that's good. That's a good thing that they did that. Um, oh god! Oh god! I'm still holding this. Hmm. This is fine. Love it. Really? Because I don't. I don't love it. 
So is your plan to go up? I don't have a plan. That's then, very um, sweet that you think I do. But I definitely don't. Oh, hey, a friend. Oh, that's not what I would call a friend. Oh, God. I think this is as tall as you can go. Oh, someone is, like, shooting at oh, me. Oh, you should have gone to the highest ground and then worked your way down. Yeah, that, I mean, I agree with that. I mean, I agree with what you said. Yeah. The, also, the, the guy at the top is going to be, like, the hardest one to kill, probably. Uh-huh. Stay away from me. Stay away Can from me. Can you push him off? I, I wanted to. Oh, God, I'm bringing him towards me. Oh, fart! Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, okay. Go get that guy. That guy is weak. You're weak, too! Damage! What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, it's the fire. Like what he has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. I see that. I see that. Oh god. Oh god. Oh Jesus. There's a lot of fire. Okay, okay. Um, this is not going super great. No. It can get better. I did a major attack. Oh, that's a good weapon. And a construct horn too. Yeah. Spiky bat. Spiky bat. Spiky bat is better than what I have. Uh -huh. So Spiky Bat is my new best friend. It's gonna be a slow weapon to do damage with. How? Oh shoot, I really needed that balloon. To get up? Yeah. Follow this path. This path doesn't go this way. Then uh, uppies. Uppies! Hold on, there's also things here. Is that food? It's hot peppers. Fire fruit, but does oh. it do a restore? I don't think it does no, a restore. No, it just for. Do you do any restore? It does a little restore. Oh, quarter heart. In yeah, I mean that's not what it's for, but it could. It also, could be. Also, there's an arrow. Where? Stop moving for a sec. Face right. See it sparkle? It's behind the constructs. The word. Ah, no arrow. Okay. So, I killed the guys down here, right? There wasn't anything yeah. going on down yeah. here. Yeah, you should ascend. I should go up. I can, and I can do that, because I have the ability to just go, boom! All right. I'm, I'm doing fine. Um, like, relatively. If it's, it's going, I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, to go up. To the right, up. or that. I don't think I can get up easily. This is not, they cross. Do they cross at some point? Yeah, right there. Yeah. Oh, thank God. All right. Am I safe? I'm safe that You thing. just have that big guy. Is it just that one guy? And then I think you have to take the escalator down. So it's mostly just him. Look at this thing. You could, like, use that stuff. I'm gonna... Get a load of this. Yeah, idiot. This is the dumbest way to kill somebody. It's slow, and also if he gets around it. Oh God, my defenses! <laughs> I need to. I'm just making myself. You could have like, like a wall. made a full wall. It's fine. I'm working on it, Mallory. It's a. It's a work in progress. He doesn't understand how to get past. My defenses. Oh, you idiot. You f oh, fart. Ah! Ah! I missed. Oh, no. Watch out for fire. I know. Oh, no. I can't climb that. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen, it was working really well. I'm going back up. Where's he at? He's over there. I need another one of my traps. Hold on, I got this. Ah, oh, crap! Ah, oh, crap! Don't come over here! Oh, an arrow. An arrow. Okay, uh... Now you're on fire! Now you're- hold on, on fire twice! Oh, God. You should go hit him before he gets his little... 
Oh shoot, did he well, die? Well, at least he's did down. Did it kill him? It killed him. It killed him. I won. I beat it. First try! <laughs> Your equipment will be returned to you. I was never worried. But what was the little, like, roller coaster for? That was for fun. But I want you to ride it. I don't have to anymore. No, I'm, I know. I'm, I'm sad. What was... What the... It just... I think the idea was that you could get on it and use recall and go backwards. Uh, yeah. So you could get up here that. easily with that. That was the idea. That went well. Fortunately, I never panicked and kept a... Um, cool head. A cool head, mm -hmm. and that's how I managed to get through that uh, so easily. Yeah. No problem. Oh, that's a good one. It's a very good one. Uh, sapphire sword. This so this is a spear, but it sucks. So I'll just replace it with a spear that is good. You sure you don't have a worse something? This is worse. Like the seven. Oh yeah, sure. Or the four. Whatever. I'm, let me drop this and I'll take this. But there's it a four. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We're never gonna use all these weapons. Okay. Like this is a this is a it's got a sparkly. Yeah, it does have a sparkly. That's a that is a a, a weapon. Oh, that was one of the weapons we got. That's it's not untainted. Degraded. Yeah, it's untainted. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, it's a good weapon. Did I pick it up? Whatever. All right. Touch. I did a touch. Are we wet? No, it's 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 this magic it wet. It's magical wetness. Okay. Is there to the shrine of light that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil? You did good. Thanks. You got my prize. How many do we have? One. Oh, yeah, okay. So we couldn't have... We couldn't have even given them to... Um, yeah. The statue if we wanted to. Mm -hmm. We couldn't have. Okay. You can use other build to easily recreate things you've built before with Ultra Hand. Do we always want to do that, though? I mean, no, but it does mean that at any time you can have your little crooked car back, and it just costs something. That also helps me better understand- I need to my friend! <laughs> the last time I just shot Where's one of these guys- friend? I feel- I feel obligated to help this one. Alright. Where's your friend, bud? My friend, I got separate! Oh, that's, that's the That's the guy! <laughs> Recreate my car and drive him this is the way it should have been. This is this is what should have happened. You can go use all the stuff too. You don't have to use the zonite charges because it's all right there. Because this is how you built the car. Yeah. So I'm gonna see how this works. So if I get closer, the cost goes down. What's missing? The, the snowball. snowball. <laughs> the snowball. It's like, well, you need the snowball. I don't know where the snow where you got the snowball I made from. It. Okay, so they're gonna charge me. <laughs> this this helps explain very well how alt, alt, uh, auto build actually yes. works. Um, All right. Other way, you need to have the snowball in the front. Okay. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna build this and use three of my things, and then I'm gonna put my little man here. On top of the snowball. I want to give him a good, like, view. He's facing backwards. Things you make are stored in other builds history and can be easily recreated from there. <laughs> I do- I wish this could go fast- oh, it- oh, it can go faster! If you push forward, it goes faster. Yeah, well, we're on some dangerous cliff sides. We're just trying to get this guy up to his friend. We're not trying to, like, figure out, like, a mystery or anything. You made this fit before. This should fit again. There we go. This thing has got four wheel drive. This is this is a this is a, a uh, you actually ended up making like a fairly decent automobile. It clearly has structural damage. It's like two cars that were joined together after a wreck. All right, I'm almost there already. That looks like something that would melt or something like that. I don't know what that's about. Oh. Not wreck this. All right. I gotta park Go. this. All right, little buddy. Actually, can I just? Is this good enough? Oh. No. 
<laughs> like this image. I'm waiting for my friend. My friend is over that way. I wonder what happened. All right, this guy. Hold on. Grab. Grab. Give me this thing. There's my friend. Thanks for being my friend. Here's some poop. Bye. I did it. Very nice. It's done. Thank you for doing that. You're welcome. What do I do with the car now? You leave it. I guess it only cost us three zonite, so it's not a big deal. Why did the thing turn green? I wondered that myself. That's weird. When you... Okay. That's very strange. All right. We should probably get back to the adventure. <laughs> Let's take a break. It's break time. Let me uh, swap the thing here. There we go. Hi, chat. There we go. Welcome back. The magic snowball. Magic snowball. Snowball uh, green because it was made of zonite. Oh. Oh. Because it wasn't originally there and made of zonite. So, I mean, I'm assuming if we would have made it out of thin air completely, that more of the car would have been green or something. Yeah. Neat. Zonite has, like, so many... So much more use than I originally thought. Because it was like, oh, Zonite, you turn into charges, and charges, you turn into energy cells. And that's like, well, yes, but also there's more to it. We get forward a bit to Malfi Goldfish who says, you ever, you ever have a game from long ago that always stays stuck in the back of your mind, but you can never remember what it was called? Today I put the exact needed words into Google and found my long lost favorite game. Nice. That happened for me once. Uh, Elfie says, all I remembered was, uh, was it was a early 2000s computer game set in ancient China where you build a town and one of the places you could build was a uh, silkworm farm. Uh, it was the 2002, there's a few of these. It was, a, it was the 2002 Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom game. And now I'm trying to find out where to find a copy because I have to play it again. So some, some old games are, I mean, some of them are on Abandonware, some of them are on Archive. Mm -hmm. And uh, GOG, G-O-G, does um, like, old games and stuff. I think that's where I bought uh, Outlaws when I did the Let's Play of Outlaws. So there is some there is some hope for yeah. finding some of the, the old stuff. I hope that you can find it. It is really cool to like get a hold of a of a game. Oh! It's a duet. I don't know. When it's tricky to rock around. It's rock -a rhyme You play SSX Tricky. You do it all the time. You snowboard down some mountains. You really shred the snow. You do a lot of tricks. And then you watch that meter go up to the top. And once you've done six tricks, you can boost forever. That's how actually SSX Tricky works, is that there's a tricky meter, and you do a special trick by um, pressing either uh, L and B or R and B or Z and B or any combination with B. You do a special trick, it lights up a T and then an R, I, C, K, Y. And then once you've got your entire tricky meter uh, filled up, then you can just boost forever without using up your your meter. It's a very fun game, actually. I played it on PS2. I played it on the GameCube. Yeah, I say B because I'm GameCube man, but it would I guess it'd be a different button. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's fun. Uh, that was 5,000 from Reed. Reed, thank you. We got 37 months from Tor Linkley. Appreciate it. 18 months from Hunting Rangers 123. Thank you. Continue the song about... Tricky? SSX Tricky? Do it. SSX Tricky. Oh my lord, you get yourself on a snowboard. You ride down the mountain having a wonderful time. And as a reminder, you have to rock a rhyme. It's very difficult to rock a rhyme. It was very good. Thanks. That was very impressive. That song. Thanks. Also, shout out to Run DMC. Yeah. Ah. 
Where did those come from? No idea. The water. Yeah, the lyrics. The lyrics. It, it does sound like rock around, but the, the lyrics are actually. It's it's tricky to rock a rhyme. It's rock a rhyme, rock a rhyme, rock rhyme, rhyme, rhyme. It's a great song. It's a, it's a great song. Where was I? Uh, that was six thousand from Camulus. Camulus, thank you. Sixteen months from Dan Phoenix. Forty-seven from Dragon Lee. Thirteen from Q twelve ninety. We get three hundred bits. And Marita says, and now for your weekly inspire bot quote: Your animal can be your idol. Kepi, are you my idol? I think for a lot of people, that's very true. I'm gonna go grab my hoodie. I'm cold. Check the thermostat. <laughs> and... Check the cat. It's at the 70s. Oh, I don't know why it's cold. Or you're cold. I'll be back. Get yourself a sweater. We got 300 bits of man who says, This morning I told my dog we were going to the vet. He ran to the door and bopped his leash with his nose to tell me to hurry up. Yeah, he's a weirdo. I mean, most dogs, upon hearing they have to go to the vet, are not excited. So, the fact that you didn't have to chase around your dog, that's good. We got 29 months from Aiden C97, 34 from Antihirosaur, 42 from Shenny Nerd, 28 from Mars Hacks, 300 from Omega Kayla. It says, I forgot it was Friday and Tears of the Kingdom Day, but now I have Auntie Anne's and a fun stream to watch. Good vibes. I needed this today. Uh, I am. I'm glad that you have any ants, but I am jealous of your anti ants. I did recently, for the first time uh, in at least a year, for the first time in at least a year, I bought the peanut butter pretzels at Costco, the Kirkland brand pretzels. I have not purchased them in well over a year. And I've been to Costco many times and I see them and I'm like, uh, no, nah, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Because in the past, I've. I will eat the whole thing. It's very good. I'll keep it. It'll, I'll, I'll just keep working on it. So I've learned the secret. The secret is to not bring them into my office. If I bring them into my office, I'll eat the whole thing. So my new rule is that they're on the kitchen counter. And when I go into the kitchen, I can, I can open it up and have like two. And then I close it. And if I do that, they'll last longer than two days. 38 months from an to win, 22 months from Ellie Drew, 5 months from Jersey Luck, read the Nintendo Painter gifted a sub to Chugga Conroy, 54 months from Waste and Aeon, we got 300 bits from Jet Jet, he says, I just got home from where apparently I walked over 15,000 steps, which is 6 miles, I think wow. I need to sit and relax, it's time to take a break, Mal walked a bit today, Mal walked for 4.5 four, four miles, it was way f further than I thought you were going to walk, it was further than I meant to walk, it's fine. I was working on, um, I was working on, on, uh, vlogs. Yeah. I, 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 I want to go for a walk. We need another day where it's nice. Hopefully soon. Hopefully. Uh, three to vote some Slick Duke says, Bingo was fast and furious this week. Winner was Min Panda in Discord. What did they win? Um, all right, let me give this a little thought here. Um, okay. I've got a word. Do you have a word? Yes. Three, two, one. Wrench. Tooth. Wrench tooth. A tooth. Tooth wrench. A tooth wrench. Yes. Yes. Uh, coming, coming to you from uh, tiny, tiny Eddie Industries. Come here. Introducing the tooth wrench. Tooth wrench is when you need to do a tooth repair, but you don't want to hassle yourself with going all the way to the dentist. You use the tooth wrench. Is your tooth loose? Tighten it back up. Just tighten it back up. Sit. Do you do you have a do you have a young daughter whose tooth is loose and you're like, mm, I don't want to deal with this this week. Just tighten that sucker back up. Just put, put it. That's mm. it's a fun, it's a fun thing. Congrats, man. Put on your wetsuit and enjoy Tiny Eddie's innovative, arrogant trimmings. That's what's Marie says. Speaking of Eddie. Put on your wetsuit and enjoy Tiny Eddie's innovative, arrogant trimmings. Trimmings of what? They're innovative and arrogant. B I, I, yeah, but wh what are they made of? They're trimmings. Of Tiny Eddie? Tiny Eddie's personal trimmings? I I, under, I understand that the, the, the trimmings are innovative. I understand that they are a little arrogant. But, um... What... 
Also, why, why, why must you wear a wetsuit? These are questions that I hope to have answered by the end mm, of the stream. It's Eddie. You're not getting answers. Reed, thank you. We also have 650 bits from Elfie Goldfish. He says, I found it on GOG. Best six bucks I spent in a while. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, GOG's got, like, some good stuff. You can get things on there. Uh, we got a thousand bits from Camelus to do some cooking. Let's do some cooking for Camelus Magnus. Heavy cream. A claw. Two claws. Cream claw. Shave an haircut. If you're desperate. I don't know Shave that I would... Shave an haircut. Two bits. <laughs> <laughs> like I'll chat. Two bits. Uh, Camulus, thank you. We also had 500 bits from Camulus, who says, Does anyone know where I can find a copy of Cyber Empires? Steel Empires outside North America. It is not on GOG. I mean, GOG is one of the better sites for that. Mm -hmm. But again, sometimes archives, sometimes... Um, what's the other one? Abandonware. That's yeah. it. A subtle blend of mediocre flavors. Oh, Tiny good. Eddie's popular pig sours. That was a bit from Zado. All right, Eddie. Hit me with them birthday meal plans. Ah. Popular pig sours. Pig sours. Pig sour. I mean, sweet and sour pork is a thing. Yeah. That's what this reminds me of. Sweet and sour pork. Oh, we haven't had Chinese in a while. And now I want Chinese. Uh, yeah, sweet and sour pork's good. That's good. That's a good combination. That's what I've decided. That's what pig sours is because I don't want to go down any other other road. Yeah. And like sweet and sour pork for uh, birthdays. That's fun. Uh, we have. Is that a new clown? It's a new clown. That's 350 bits from Radio Jets. Is uh... <laughs> yeah. That's new. That's like. Is that this stream new? That's very new. Yeah. From today. Yeah. That was when I was counting out 10 hots. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Listen, sometimes you get new clowns. Especially if they're from my my voice box. Radio Dread, thanks. An anonymous gifter gifted a sub to brand new guy. Thank you, anonymous. Uh, let's do a little cooking for Jefferson314. A turnip. Monster extract. Broth. Heavy cream. A Bokoblin fang. Tom Nooks, pay your bills or you'll get it, chowder. Sleep with the fishes. Animal Crossing would be a very different game if at the beginning of the game Tom Nook was like, You have 28 days. Or I'll kill you. <laughs> And like every night there was a brief sequence of like laying, laying awake and staring at the ceiling. And like Tom Nook is outside your window and taps on the glass. And he's like, four days. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, Jefferson, thank you. Um, also 500 bits from Camelos that says, I do need to shave. So thanks for the reminder. No problem. Here's a bit some Will Peters. It says, I got home from a 10 hour drive from Ooh. Maine to New York. I made it just as you started. That's a long drive. Welcome. But yeah, that's a that's a that's a that's a doozy of a drive. That's a doozy doozy of a drive. We're in another we're in another high P train. You can tell because there's like a train. There is a train, yes. There's a train. We're on level three of the train. Uh I'm gonna let I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the train cook. Uh, I'm gonna pull up the art while I do so. I don't think that will break anything. Have you used a shield? There, okay, for anyone that's waiting on Mallory to use Flurry Rushes and Parries, there's no chance. Yeah. That will never happen. So that you, your hope lies solely on me. There's probably an easier way to do that. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We're all doing our best. <laughs> We're supposed to be here. <laughs> I remember that moment. It's a good moment. And uh, yeah, we definitely were not supposed to be there. We were in a, a a new zone, a new land. Yes. A land where we really weren't supposed to be there. 
really weren't. Epic DXX gifted a sub to Icewing1812. We also have 50 months from Tony2125O. 20, oh. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, I actually, I'm going to use this opportunity since we're, st we're still in a high P train. Uh, I'm going to use the bathroom and get a drink. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm going to leave you I fed the cat. Here. You, oh, you did? Well, because when I stood up, he started talking to me, which he never does. I think I think he played you. I think he, he did. did. There's a little tiny. It's gone. Like a, a tiny nap. Yeah. When I went to go grab my hoodie from downstairs, I also had half of, like there was like a chunk of cookie left. I had half of that. So. It is a good cookie. And then um, I got played by the cat. I'm gonna. I'll be back in like a minute. Mm -hmm. Do you want anything? No, I I'm have gonna half bring of a I'm gonna bring a. Uh, a, a, a beverage. Is he gonna talk to you? No, he knows he just ate. You got nothing to say. He has nothing to say. He's got nothing to say. He's a good boy. He's a con cat. <laughs> he got what he wanted. <laughs> he sure did. That was 300 bits from Unclever Title. Secret Clown while Steven's gone. Shh. Secret Clown. He's getting smarter. Sometimes, like, he does something and you're like, oh, Kepler. And it's kind of surprising. <laughs> uh, 300 bits from Swishy Head, who says, Shout out to Anne B. Walsh, who ended my decades-long suffering trying to remember a childhood book. All I remembered was a dragon and a stone guy who'd been turned to stone, but badly. There was a children's book I remembered from my childhood a while ago, and then I had to order myself a copy of it so that I had it. <laughs> Best of told me this is dealing with dragons. I have a copy of that. I have it dealing with dragons. Um, when I was teaching, the library was getting rid of a bunch of old books, and I started picking up a few random ones, and that was one of them. Recently, I reread through Howl's Moving Castle, the book. It's a very good book. If you've only seen the Miyazaki film, definitely read the book. It's like, they did a good job making the film, but the book just has like a little bit more to it. Like the the workings of how things work and like some of the magic, like it's really good. Uh, it was 300 bits from Reed who says, why not? I'll get on the clown train. And 300 bits from Omega Kid who says, so I had the most amazing chocolate chip cookies today. They served, uh, they served to remind me that, uh, of the crime that our oatmeal raisin. Oatmeal is a perfectly good cookie ingredient, but everyone always ruins them, so ruins them with raisins. I mean, I'd rather they be oatmeal chocolate chip, but like, I think raisins are okay. I know some people don't like them. My dad does not like raisins. Chrysalium says, the book is fairly different from what I've heard. Yes, but you can see the pieces there, I think. And I think that's the important thing. Dried cranberries are better. Yeah, dried cranberries are really good, Sacroselica. Uh, 300 bits from Link Mountaineer, adding one more clown. We've had so many clowns while Steven's away. Our neighbors just brought us um, omali. It's a Middle Eastern dessert that's basically a bread pudding, and it's so good. It was so good. It had golden raisins on it. Yeah. <sighs> Israel. Israel. Good. We just keep getting food. I know. I'm going to make a squash and pecan tart and bring that over next week. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and he says, I'm jealous of you guys. I want your neighbors. They are the best thing about living here. Yeah. When I when they dropped off the um the omali. He said, my mother made this. And I was like, oh, thank you. And he said, there's bread and milk. It's sweet, you will like it. And I was like, <laughs> and it has like nutmeg and cardamom and it smelled so good and it was warm. <sighs> they are good neighbors. They are great. And then I saw them out. I never get to see the mother who's doing the cooking. So I finally saw them and I got to thank them. And she said, I mispronounced the omali at the time. 
and she knew what I was talking about though. She goes, oh yes. I was like, it's very good. We're, we love it. <laughs> I was trying to convey how much you how enjoyed much it. How much I enjoyed it. Okay, the train is gone, which means we can continue. I actually don't know if we can continue when the train is there. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think, like I, I'm like, train will be on like gameplay, so we Laura just wait says, for the train. Sounds now. amazing. Your neighbors sound like absolute treasures. We really like them. They are, they are uh, a, a nice perk of yes. of being here for sure. Uh, I okay, so I'll start back again. I'll start back again. Unless you go want, ahead. Unless you want to start go being ahead. the the first. I want to sit. Well, you can take a sit. Take yourself a sit. Do yourself a sit. Okay. It's video game time. I paused the music, right? I did. So, yeah, like, it would be up if it weren't. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, where are we? my other friend i have a lot of friends so i'm going back to being are you trying to go to being player one yeah are you um, trying to go to um the research lab finally yeah i, I almost well I'm, if you are i would go map i was almost gonna be like what were go we doing well here's my question the mm -hmm. spring of wisdom mm -hmm. was that 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 was where they were like bring me the claw yeah yeah but the guy that was like the treasure you did yeah. that you, I wonder if he's still there and has anything to say. I don't know. I'm going to do this again, though. And the reason I'm going to do it... Why couldn't you just go to the up-in-the-air th thing? The what? Isn't there up-in-the-air travel, fast travel, from when I was up in the air? Or no, because that was just the start of the one that was down. I don't think there was. Okay. So, so the thing I am I'm, I'm curious to do mm -hmm. is um, I'm stand on the thing. Um, okay. I'm curious. Skip. I'm curious to see if I can get the dragon. Okay. That's the that's the one thing that. Well, I'm super I don't know what in. time the dragon comes out, and it's currently uh, one p.m. You can go to that thing. Yeah, there's there's stuff around. That stuff's really far away, but this. Well, stuff I is bet not... this is actually how you start going up to it. Maybe no. I just want to see what is around. Like, there's also don't hit that like, one rock. Yeah, it'll probably kill you. They give you like a flying machine. Just want to see what this is. Oh my god! It's a hoverboard. Also, there's some stuff on the left. A sword. A rusty clay. I don't care about that. But this. <laughs> wow. But this wooden bow. Okay, so I'm really glad that I stopped in. That oh, there's fairies. Oh dang. There's three. It needs to come. Take a photo of one so that we can find them. It's a good good idea. I know. You didn't. Oh, there we go. Fairy. Yeah, it'd be nice to have one. I'll just sneak underneath it, and hopefully it'll get lower. It does seem to want to be up. It's coming down. I need it to look descend. At the, look at it descend. Beautiful. Can we have more than one? We haven't had one in a long time. So, like, having a fairy would be very nice. It's the Safflina. I know. I know. I don't want the fairy. Where's the fairy? Come down. Come to, why are you up there? To make things difficult. It's working. It's upsetting. Look how high it is, stupid thing. I wish the bird could... Oh, wait. Let's go get this one. No, 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 no. Got it. Okay, that's two. So, uh... You so gonna this fly thing, that over to Robbie's lab? Yeah, this is, this is really freaking cool. So my first thought is, like, so with the auto build... How do I... This is save. schematics. So, like, I can't save this, right? Because I didn't build this personally. No. This is cool. You oh know where my. you're going, by the way? It's south. It's to your left. 
Oh, these have these. Oh, you can't. These are drain. Oh my god. Hi, bird. What's up? They they have batteries that are a part. What's of on the top thing. of that tower behind you? What tower? What? Where? The tower you just came from. That I just came from. Just a like a light. Okay. My first thought was the wind fish's egg, but it's that's a that's not what this. We are going up. I mean, we are we are ascending. Okay. Well, you can always just cruise on down. I can. Yes. I'm assuming it'll start using my batteries once this is yeah. emptied. Oh, it goes fast! Oh, this uses a lot of dot on the map. a lot of juice. Will I float down or will I just like? Oh, it go! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh, oh! Oh! I just barely. You know what? It's time to go. <laughs> hey bird! Hey bird! All right. So where were we? Um, let me go down here. I'm actually starting further away from this than I... Yeah. It's fine. So we're trying to get here, right? This yeah. is where we're going? Yes. Hot No Village Research Lab. It's where, we're, it's where we're going. If we see something interesting along the way, we can do that. Um, man, we really... You just kind of get down a little low. Come on, bird. Good job, bird. Well, that was neat. That was very neat. That was neat. And we got two fairies out of it. So I think that it was probably worth yeah. it. Probably worth it. Let's fall down a little bit more. Bird. Bird. Thanks, bird. It's snowy. It is snowy, yes. Oh, I can see a shrine from here. But also, I think that's the lab, isn't it? It's up on top of that mountain. Yeah, it is. Oh, I'd really like to, like get there that would be really great <laughs> i'm running out of juice uh-huh and that's not good no it's not that's really not you really good. need some juice oh, to not die oh i know <sighs> piss you're not that far off i know but this is not convenient where no. the crap am i all right let's go see the tree of life whatever this is Oh, hey, look at this. It's a Korok. Got it. Easy game. You found me. You're welcome. Bye. Now I live here. <laughs> what is my life? <laughs> what do I do now? What is that thing? It's a squirrel. No, that thing. Oh, that's an Oshrock. Oh, it is. Dark chose violence. Don't, don't gotta be a jerk about it. Now, there's something in the water. Otherwise, I was wondering what it was. What's that? Where? Oh, they're ducks. Oh, my God, a little duck. A little duck friend. What's all this? You know that's, like, Korok, right? Probably. Is it? I don't know. Thanks. Thanks, Tulin. I don't know. That's weird. That is weird. Okay. I'm not Go going out. Lab. I'm not going out to get that crap. All right. So I need to go up. Can you ascend? I probably can't. Oh well. Actually, son of a gun. <laughs> Discovery. Retsum Forest Cave. Okay. Well, there's a truffle in here. Oh my God. Wow. Well. Well then. Well then. Give me this. How about that? That is that is a good discovery. Got a shrine and everything out of this. And we can just ascend to get yeah. to where we need to go. We need Perfect. we need more bright bloom stuff for the depths. For the depths. Mm -hmm. Like you end up using so much just trying to like get through it. So it's pro we probably want as much as we can find. Cool. Well, this wasn't so bad. No. That was cool. We got the fairies. We saw that there's a hovercraft. I guess it's all that actually happened. We... Oh, it's just here? It oh! Is. Well, it's because we found it. Mm. Even though we found it... <gasps> a magic A long and mysterious magic rod. It's said to have been wielded by an ancient... Okay. Um, there's a flame spear... I'm gonna get rid of the Boko Reaper. Yeah. 
Yeah, sure. Magic Scepter. I need to start using some of these fun weapons. Touch. The Sled Shield is also very fun. Yeah, yeah. Just give me the... <laughs> just give it. Just, 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 just give me the light. Just give me the candy. Just give me the candy. I skipped it. All right, let me, um... Before me... you ascend, do what you're going to do, but don't ascend yet. Because there's always the bunny in the cave. Yeah, I'll look, in, I'll look in the cave. I'm so magic wet. Um, I was going to look... I was going to try and swap over to one of these things, like this. Like What, what does this do? Oh, it's so pretty. It's big. What does this do exactly? This can't. This isn't fused. What is this? Long with mysterious magical rod. It's said to have been wielded by an ancient magician who awoke the latent power of gems. If you fuse it with the gem, because like we have a sword fused with the gem. Drop a gem and fuse it. Okay. I mean, the gems are the things that I sell, but sure. Um, gem, gem, gem. We got three, three, one. This is electric. Mm -hmm. This is water, and this oh, is fire. fire. All right, so I'll 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 just drop one of those. Drop. Fuse. Pull this out. Fuse. Fuse to the scepter. And then it turns it into a fire thing. And now it's a ruby scepter, which is, I guess, a little different than this. Let's see, what does it just shoot like a... Oh, cool. Oh my god. That's a lot. That's like a... There's a lot that occurred just there. Also, I don't know... Oh, no, he is in here. He's always here. Oh, I, I, I guess he's dead. Bubble gem. Just like fireballs. <laughs> This is a very powerful weapon. It might be, it might be like, you know, too powerful. I probably don't want to waste that. Yeah. I don't know where this is going to go, but hopefully this is exactly where right I need to be. Right into Robbie's bedroom. I hope it is. I really hope it is. Where am I? <laughs> did it's I miss? A oh, I did. <laughs> it's. I need to be. Maybe here? Try it. I might still be... Every time we see this, I want to go swimming. You may just have to climb that part. I'm just gonna... I'm not far. No. It's raining. <laughs> it's raining. All right, let me put this away and use, like, a... This. Yeah. Whatever. Um, oh, I'm not gonna be able to climb this one. I'm so close, though. I'm, like, right... Th ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at this. Look at this little sucker. Look at this. Discovery 2. It's above, but you could ascend from here. Wait, am I, what am I looking at? The shrine oh, that's that the shrine. Just... Oh, now I can't get back up. You can... <laughs> I mean, I can there do you go. this. Yeah, do that. So is this going to be further up then? No, it's going to put you in that other ca or there you hey! go. Hey! Nailed it. Just like I planned it. This is perfect. We skipped hot now. That's fine. We'll go back. We'll down. go back. It's fine. Hot no ancient tech lab. God. It's so weird going back to places mm -hmm. from Breath of the Wild. Let's go take a look. All righty, welcome to you. Ah, what an excellent night. Hey, you. The pee pad laboratory is ready for us to do some great things together. First, let's get that sensor up and running. Come on, let me see the pee pad. This will only take a moment. One and a two and a three and a four. Sensor. The sensor reacts when you are close to shrines of light that you have not yet visited. If you head in the direction where the reaction is strongest, you should find the shrine. Dunzo! Now this sensor will make a sound if there are shrines near you. I think you need to add Dunzo to your vocabulary. I think I'm Dunzo with Dunzo. Okay, that wraps up my chatting about it. Let's try testing out the sensor. Hmm, that's odd. 
The sensor reacts when you're moving toward a shrine. There's a shrine in the cave at the bottom of this hill, but the sensor isn't reacting to it whatsoever. Wow. I already got it. What? You already found it? I'd expect nothing less from you. That sensor will still be invaluable. It's the product of my brilliance, after all. I'd expect nothing less from me. Well, I've told you what you need to know about that sensor, but I fear it's gone in one ear and out the other. So hang on a minute. Still so magic wet. Okay, the details look correct, and I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. Here you go, the operation instructions for the sensor. Now you can review the sensor feature anytime you want. Just read that poster. Now you begin to see the true potential of the pee pad. But I'm nowhere near done yet. I created a new features for that device while I was waiting here for you. Yes, I whipped up some prototypes of these extra features and can get them on your pee pad at any time. That is, with some help from you, getting some final data I need in order to activate them perfectly. Let's talk if you want those upgrades. Enjoy that sensor. A taste of great things to come. Until then. This is like when Chaz gives you a new feature for um, alerts and stuff. Yeah. And he would put up a poster in his house. <laughs> Steven, if you ever need to remember how to do this alert on stream, just, just <laughs> drive to Indiana and come in my house, and I'm gonna leave this poster here, and you can check it out. <laughs> Easy. Okay, so there's more to talk to Robbie about. Hey, you! We have more work to do! Your pee pad is nowhere near its full capability yet! Alright, all right, Robbie. The pee pad will be even better after I add some extra features! I don't know that the pee pad needs a lot of features. It's pretty... What else could we add? Those include the most essential one, the travel medallion feature that lets you set up gates for instant travel anywhere. There's also Heroes Path oh, mode. Oh, that you have to unlock? Oh my god. It shows where you've traveled. Finally, Sensor Plus, which helps you find more than shrines. Your pee pad will be perfect once I've installed all of those. But first, I'll need you to gather some test data so I can fine-tune my prototypes. So let's get to work on that pad. Just talk to me anytime you'd like to get started on any of these. Heroes Path. That's the one I care about. I do like Hero's Path. What is the travel medallion? That's where you set it down so you can always go back. Oh, there. the the thing where you can go. That's very useful. That is very useful. More useful than Hero's Path. It's not that I don't want to get Hero's Path, but the travel medallion's better. I'm playing. Travel medallion. The travel medallion feature is quite exceptional. It lets you travel instantly to a gate you've established elsewhere. But we're going to have a little bit of an extra challenge with all this. Come now. Give me your pee pad for a moment. Here you go. Look at it. Look at it. Look here. In distant Akala, up in its northeastern corner, is the Akala Ancient Tech Lab, which is also my home. That's my summer home. That's where my prototype of the travel medallion feature is. I started work on it back there. Okay, so we have to go to that place for that. What about the other ones? I'd go get it myself, but word is that some dangerous trespassers have made themselves at home there. That's why I'd like to have you, with all your great talents, go there and fetch my travel medallion prototype. To speed this journey along, well, the return journey anyway, where was that again? Ah, here it is, here it is. Sure. What about the other ones? I've activated a travel gate outside this lab. Now you can get here instantly, if not faster. You'll need to make your own way to the Akala Ancient Tech Lab, however. You'll find the travel medallion prototype in a chest beside my desk there. Should be easy enough to find. Presenting the travel medallion. Okay, what about the others? Yeah, can we just turn them all on? Want to hear about anything else? Yeah, might as well. Um, because then we know where they are when we go to that area. Exactly. Uh -huh. Hero's Path, where's that? Hero's Path mode is an outstanding addition if you do a lot of investigating. Truth is, there's a tracking feature installed on the P-Pad. Hero's Path mode lets you see this feature on the screen. It's a brilliant system that lets you see the exact path you've taken. But before I can install the prototype perfectly, I'll need to get data from 15 shrine locations from you. Specific ones? Or just any 15? But I've done 15. What? <laughs> You've got the data? Uh, hurry up and let me see your pee pad. This pee pad? Now, give me just a moment. Heroes Path Mode. You can save around 256 hours of gameplay. If you exceed the split amount of play data, the oldest footsteps will be erased. Ta da da da! Now you'll be able to see the path you've traveled so far on your map. Cool. Neat. Neat. Oh yes, I should prepare operation instructions for this feature too. Hang on a minute. I'll put these ones in my bathroom. Okay, the details look correct and I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. 
Here you go, the operation instructions for Hero's Path Mode. Over my notes. Now you can review the Hero's Path Mode feature anytime you want. Though you can use Hero Path Mode now, your P-Pad is not yet perfect. It still doesn't have all the available features, so don't forget that. Aren't we missing Sensor yeah, Plus? Yeah, Sensor Plus. Excellent! Very good thinking, being curious about this feature. It allows you to pinpoint the location of more than shrines, many more things. That's why it's called Sensor Plus. You select what you want from the compendium, but I can't add my prototype without some extra data. So you need to fill out your compendium with at least five types of monsters. We've done that, haven't we? Or is it just like take photos of five monsters? Yes. We've done that. We but I did. Very, very See, good. look at the photos. Here, let me show your forehead. Unbelievable! You've got all that data? Then I can install the sensor upgrade right away. Let me have the P-pad for a moment. This time, put it in my eyes. Sensor Plus. You can do stuff. Da 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 da! Now you can search for more than just shrines. Just select what you want to find from the Hyrule Compendium. So we got like basically all the stuff. Yeah. We got a good Aqua, but otherwise we did a Everything good. Everything else. We did very mm -hmm. good. Actually, I have a compendium of my own. How about you just share it with us so we don't have to do our own? That's my compendium database. It's got everything you could possibly want to find details about. Oh, yes, it's all there. Creatures, monsters, materials, equipment, and even different kinds of treasure. In short, a perfect collection of what you might one day achieve in your own Hyrule compendium on the P-Pad. Curious? I invite you to access that database and see it for yourself. Oh, yes, I should prepare operation instructions for this feature, too. Hang on a minute. There's a lot of, mm -hmm. a lot of instructions. Here you go, the operation instructions for the Sensor Plus feature. Now you can review Sensor Plus details anytime you want. I can't work anymore. Also, though you can use the Sensor Plus feature now, your P-pad is not yet perfect. It's a lot of reading. It is. Hey, you interested in my compendium database, I see. Don't look at it. My collection is complete. It has every creature, monster, material, treasure, and piece of equipment. It's basically the same thing as the Hyrule Compendium you've got on your pee pad, except mine's finished. When you take a picture of these kinds of subjects, they'll be registered in your compendium. I've got some mighty elusive entries in my collection. You might find it a real challenge to get them on your own. Say, I'll tell you what. I'll sell you pictures that help fill out the gaps in your compendium. Why can't you just share? So that was actually... So I can do this adventure easier and get Zelda back. That was a thing in Breath of the Wild. Yes. We just, like, didn't do it. Yeah. What's with that face? Do you know how hard I work to complete this? All that work is priceless, so a few rupees is a great deal. Look, no pressure, but if you want some pictures for my compendium, just let me know. Yeah, okay. Okay. There might be information here, like a book or something upstairs. Yeah, like I journal. bet it's upstairs. Is there an upstairs? Yeah, you have to go outside. Or you could ascend. Big brain. Oh, there's also just a back house. Is that part of the house? Is that a door that goes into the house? The one down there? Yeah. It went into the part I was just in. Oh, that's a door. This is a boring room. What else is up here? That must have been the guest house. This is like Robbie's house. There's drawings, calculations. There's a book. Oh, it's ah, Pro's diary. Pro's diary. I grew frustrated with being treated like a child, so I resumed my age booster experimentations in earnest. The anti-aging device reversed more than 100 years in an instant, so I reflected on that result and moderated the output. When I cautiously exposed myself to its rays, I returned to my 20-year-old form, just as I'd hoped. Success. I'm so happy that I can once again reach high places without using a jetpack. My 20-year-old body doesn't suffer from sleepless nights researching. And what's more, my skin is perfect. No complaints. Three volumes of my diary are hidden away now. I'll place the last one at the northeastern edge of Akala. The lab there is perfect for hiding things. It's such a remote location. I'm sure no one will ever come across it. But of course, we're going there. Yeah. Because we have to get the thing. So, do you want to do the, the shrine? Yeah. Might as well do the shrine. It's... <laughs> There's a shrine nearby! It might be the shrine-shaped thing. 
That looks like a that shrine. That looks like a shrine. I'm not sure. But I think it's the shrine-shaped thing that looks like a shrine. Whee! Zanmik Shrine. Hey, good luck. Thank you. In whatever this is. Who knows? Uh, Hotno is smaller than Kakeriko Village? Maybe? It's more spread know. out. It's hard to see because it's nighttime. It's true. It might. This might help the time pass a little bit. Scoop it out. It's Kepler Shrine. Yeah. I guess this is the Kepler Shrine. Ball go in the hole. Okay. This is going to be a fun one then. They also tend to put like some of the more easily accessible, like like easier to understand or like core mechanic stuff near towns because they know you're definitely going to find them easily. Yes. So there's a ball that it's probably Oh, oh my that. god, there's oh. lots of balls. You literally got Mickle Scooper. Oh, it's cute. What's the what's the, the electricity? Cry, the, the cryogenic tube. I gotta connect this somehow. Oh, okay. So do you think these are... Well... Yeah, they are. Yeah, they'll conduct electricity, so that's useful. You can just, like, sit it there, right? Incredible. See, now it rotates. And now I just build a little scoop. I a little scoop! I can't say that word too loud, because the cat will... I don't know that building it while it's in motion is the best idea. No, it probably was not. Probably not, but... Well, I'll work on this over here while that <laughs> goes in a circle. You, you got the spirit. And I that, do. That's, that's the important part. Real curious what your plan is here. Wouldn't you like to know? Which way is that going? Yeah. Oh, I have it the wrong way. That's what I wanted. Where's my... Did it get it cut off? It probably broke it off, and then it, like... Be because it, it didn't have a way to, to move, so it probably broke off. Is my assumption. So it's probably up there. Probably. Listen, I have a thought. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited. To see what your thought is. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that is the world's worst ball pit. going perfect this is this is exactly exactly what <laughs> you made a little snowman frosty the snowman he was made out of metal balls and he stuck to a thing that spun until he was no longer tall. Cause when he hits the edge there, I think that he will break. There you go. Well. 
You just shove them all in the hole. Just. I love this. That was quite possibly the dumbest way to solve this shrine, but it was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. Just had to do one thing. No, 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 no. Shove a snowman in the hole. <laughs> Just one full snowman, just the the full thing. Hey, good work. Thanks. I was endlessly amused. I was endlessly I, amused. I, I, that's really what Tears of the Kingdom is about. Is yeah. like it, we just are you amused? Can we amuse each other? And it's working. Yeah. I, I'm. I continue to be very amused. All right, let's uh, take a break before we go explore Hot Now. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Hi, everybody. Just sing the word scoop over and over again. Ah, the, the scoop duet. The scooet. Scoop. 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 Scoop, 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 scoop. Scoop, scoop. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Scoop, scoop. Scoop, 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 scoop. Kep is on the chair and he's just like. He's like, I. I definitely ate. And he's like, oh my god! Scoop, 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 scoopy doop, beep, scoopy doop, scoopy doopy doop, scoop the doop, but scoop. This is a scat. Scoop a doop and a scoopy dee, scoop a doop and a doop a da, scoop a doop a doop a doop a scoop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a scoop 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 a scoop
That is 13 years ago. I know. My mom worked that year and worked at the Cream Puff oh. stand, well, which is why I think I have a soft spot for that, because it's like, oh, the Cream Puffs, it's Wisconsin State Fair. It's like the thing. A follow-up question, and chat can feel free to answer this as well. What's your favorite, like, state fair food? I made the porridge. I mean, Minnesota has the cookies. Carly wants us to go to that sometime. <laughs> is, is it porridge? I'm wondering what we're going to have this year. <laughs> When they announce what our state fair food is. My my, my favorite state fair food is, is a funnel cake. Yeah. I love a funnel cake. Funnel cake first, turkey like second. Those are my favorite like state fair things. But I love to try stuff. The North Carolina State Fair has a stand that comes every year and they don't do anything else. Of course, Brandon. We're we're coming up on that again. Yeah. That's October. October? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm sorry. They excited. had these um It'll be worse because Hal's not here. But, I know. But anyway. They had Cubans, but in egg rolls. And yes. they were deep fried and they were so delicious. Yes. Brandon says, favorite fair food is water. Second favorite is black coffee. That's not the most exciting answer. It's a very Brandon answer. I like trying this stuff. I'm super excited. That's why we all tried the rattlesnake corn dog. I know. I'm I, I I'm I'm super excited to like try more. I don't know that I. Did I, I think next month food? they announce what the new food is that they're gonna debut. I'm a, I want to go back to the state fair. It's a fun. Yeah, that's a fun time. Back. It's a fun time. I really enjoyed it last year. Uh, three to bits from Howie Sona says, "Have either of you been to Jungle Gyms? It's an international grocery store. They had a gummy bear that was nine million Scoville." I That's know the place. it's near Cincinnati. It's yeah, I know it's in Ohio. Yeah, um, but we have not been. Yeah, I, I I've been told about it before, and it's definitely the sort of store that I would love to go to, but I haven't had a chance to. But next time we are anywhere near it, I, I do want to go because it sounds up my alley. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I personally want to try a gummy bear that's nine million scope. No, I do not. Um, but but there's other cool things there. We had four months from Captain Joe 08. 34 months from Super X40. Uh, 500 Bits Amado says, personally, it seems a little cruel to stuff Cubans into egg rolls, but I guess y'all do things differently in North Carolina. <laughs> With just a little mustard. Pickles. Pickles. 500 from Camulus says, any plans to see Oppenheimer? I saw it last Saturday, and it is absolutely fantastic. As a word of warning, it is a think thinking movie. Uh, yes. Um, so sometime next week, we are planning to see Barbie. Um, and then at some point soon after that, we'll probably try and see Oppenheimer. Um, Josh and Rebecca are out of town at the moment because um, they're doing Zelda Universe. charity, Zelda Universe charity event. Um, and they, they want to see a movie, but Dan wants to see a movie and they're not going to be in time at this, in town at the same time. So we're like, we're going to try and do Barbie first. And then when Josh and Rebecca get back, we'll do Oppenheimer. Yeah. So I, I want to see both. Well, I don't know that I want to see both, but I'm going to see both. Yeah. Like I, I feel neutral about, about I feel pretty neutral about Barbie, but like in a positive way, like, yeah, I'll see it. And then like, I, I'm interested in seeing Oppenheimer, but I'll end up seeing both of them. There's other movies too I want to see, but like movies, there's only so much time in the world and I, I hate that. Uh, all right, there are two arts in the queue. You want to see these? I do. Apparently there was once a medallion that could instantly transport you to wherever you placed it. I hear the treasure chest containing this tool is located beneath a labyrinth in Northeast Akala. So it's really actually funny that we're looking at this art right after we saw the travel medallion. POV, you didn't pay <laughs> off your debt in 28 days. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, okay. Let's pause music and play more video game. Video game. Did I pause music? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It's hard sometimes because 
I did pause music. It's hard sometimes because also the game has audio, and yes. then I'm like not sure. I guess I could just keep this that way, and then I'll know for sure. All right. Let's play the video game because there's so much video game. And if we want to finish the video game before we turn 40, then we that need... That would be nice. Then we need to keep playing the video game. All right. Down a little bit. Maybe up. Okay. Okay, so we're hot now. You want to start like at the base and work your way up as it's probably meant to be done? Um, that's fine. Where does one come in to hot now? The left. The left. Look on the map. Map. Left. So, like, this is the. Yeah. That's the thing. If I do a blue... And we go stand on the blue. This will show me blue, right? Yeah. All right. So that's the that's the blue. Yeah. That thing over there. Okay. That's the entrance. That's the entrance. Where's my bird? Where's my bird? The bird's not allowed in this town. Where's my bird? Where's my... Where'd my bird go? Am I not high enough? I need to be higher? All right. All right. I'm here. This is it. And now I'm going to remove the mark. Or it it's, removes on its own yeah, because I touched it. Okay. It. Mm -hmm. Cool. Welcome to Hotno Village, the correct way and not coming in from the rear. There's a little sign that reads uh, Hotno. Do you think that was like an ah? Yeah, you want to be uh, He's talking to me? So, is there anything special bringing you to Hotno Village at this hour? You. Oh, we have our veggie CC's fashion and just those two things, really. <laughs> oh. You know, not much point in attacking our homes or anything. Oh, that's... Mm, there's been some stuff happening in Hotno Village, then. Oh, he's actually pretty handsome now that I get a good look. Hey, I have a good idea. You should take this up and not ask any questions. Bird egg. Oh. <laughs> you swept me off my feet so fast I gave you one of my prized eggs. No more, though. Just forget about what happened here today. How could I ever forget? Your heart is like a cuckoo's egg, easily given but easy to break. Oh. Please find it in your heart to forget what happened. How could I ever forget? Oh. The taste is heavenly. Is it slightly different text? It was. How could I ever forget? This isn't working. Oh, I was wondering whether it was possible to romanticize eggs. But in the end, eggs are something you cook and eat for breakfast and drop outside of Josh Jepson's doorway. <laughs> I should head back to work. The stores and barn are always open. Take it easy, stranger. I want to read about the love story between Link and... Uh, Tamana. Tamana. What if I talk to you again? I'm cleaning to take my mind off things until morning comes. Isn't it morning? At first light, it'll be my son Tebow's turn to take over on watch duty. He does the job more like my husband used to. Checking for suspicious people, guiding visitors around the village, and that sort of thing. Oh, it's 5.30 and the sun's up, but she said first light. Oh, well. So we'll meet her son at some point. Okay, where do I want to go? I want to talk to you. Be right there. Hang on just a sec. Oh, I was sure you were Mary Reed coming to talk for a bit. Did all this fashion business bring you to town too? Before folks came to Hano Village for the veggies, but now they show up for that gotta get up Cece makes. So what's you after? Uh, the veggies. Ah, that's what I thought. I know which it's veggies after all. I focus on growing pumpkins myself, but there's other fields and a couple of farms up the hill too. And I suppose nowadays we got those weird sculptures to look at too. Point is, there's plenty to check out around our village if you take the time to look. Anyway, what you see here is me trying to come up with a new kind of veggie, but I haven't had much luck so far. So if I quit so soon, I'd be a poor excuse for a farmer, wouldn't I now? So there's a fashion Yeah, but part we of knew Hotman. that. But we knew that from the, the, the girls in Kakeriko Village that wanted to like Yeah, fashions. Sorry, I wanted I wanted this. <laughs> Give it to me. Give it thank you. I don't even use them. I just want them my own personal oh what is this a hoe i don't need this no um I don't, oh hot 
and identify yourself, sp suspicious guy. That's me, suspicious. I'm not suspicious. I I do look extremely suspicious. Oh, you're not? Then I'll give you the gatekeeper's greeting. Uh, how did it go again? Uh, you have come to Hano Village, home of fine produce and dyed goods. Our vegetables are the best around, and we're at the forefront of fashion. Did I say that right? My dad would have known. Too bad he's still a lookout landing. Oh, so his dad's alive. Sorry, based on what Tom, uh, Tamana said, I thought the dad was dead. Yeah. He's not dead, just at lookout landing. Oh. Well, my bad for hitting on a married woman. Where is... What's that on the... Is that a pot lid? Yeah. <laughs> Bless you. <coughs> Twice. I like that they just let me do whatever. So, like, if I'm like this... Oh, there's a wall here. Oh, but not that... What the crap? That's very strange. Oh my god! There's people here! I don't like that they both did the butt scoot at the same time. Oh, hey, mister. Are you what they call a traveler? Your weapon is really neat. Every wanderer has amazing gear. It's true. I love swords and bows and arrows and all that stuff. Want to be my friend, mister? Also, why the hell are you in my home? We're spies for Azum. He's a hero who protects our village. I'm a uh, spy number one, and my little sister Nara is spy number two. That makes you spy number three, mister. No, no, slow down. Oh, you're spy number three, huh? My brother Neb is spy number one, and I'm number two. My spy's job is to keep an eye out and report to the big time hero Azum with surveillance about any bad people. Sorry, surveillance is very, very yeah. good and has big liar exaggerate energy. <laughs> but the lab on top of the hill to the east is too far, so I can't go there. I didn't know that there were like people in this house. I'm in here just like <laughs> throwing pot lids pot, around. Yeah, throwing pot lids around. All right, I don't close doors. School meetup time! So this is... Sorry, I just need... <laughs> oh, no. Go to the right. Foiled. All right. Yep. It's a Zelda game. I had to get that out of my system. Yeah. Um, there's, like... It's bigger than I thought. This, Yeah, this is bigger than I was anticipating. I'm kind of curious where the kids ran off, because they said school meeting time. Maybe we'll see them again. There's... Well, this is where our house was in Breath of the Wild. Yes. There's also this. There's a little path up here. What's 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 all this, then? Uh... Stick. Ah, stick. This can be climbed. Oh, shoot. I'm fine. Okay, well, this is nothing. I'm going to go over there. That is where, um... I think this is faster than normal shields. It would it make sense. Sled. Yeah, mm -hmm. what does this say? Is this something? Dream of owning your own home? Come down to Terrytown and Akala. We'll build it for you just the way you saw within your dreams. Okay, um... So here's a home. I wonder, if, here. I wonder if Link's house is still here. Well, it, yeah, there's a house over there. So that's that's our house. Mm -hmm. These are like little... Model homes? Little model homes, kind of. But there ain't nothing... To, wait, hold on. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, that's nothing. This is cute. Aw. Farmer dad. When your dad is a farmer then they say you have farmer dad. <laughs> this is my house! It's a picture. You can jump on pictures. the roof and everything like that. Um, This will be easier to see this way. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, these are cute. Who's been living in our house? Yeah, wait. Hold on. These aren't us. What happened to our house? We probably weren't paying, like, our mortgage payment, and then uh. they, like, took it back. Oh. Oh. Wait, did we live here with Zelda? 
The I, castle was like destroyed, right? Uh, so I guess we were we had like a little house here. Yeah, because there's all the yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's read Zelda's journal. After the calamity, I asked myself how to rebuild and set out across Hyrule in search of an answer. I saw the collapsed buildings, lost cities that damaged far worse than I had imagined. But as I watched the people and heard their stories, I was convinced all was not lost. The people's spirits were not broken. They and their strong wills are Hyrule's greatest treasure. They are the ones who will rebuild, and my contribution to their efforts will be to protect them while they do so. Next page. As part of Hyrule's reconstruction, we've built a school in Hotten No Village. Ah. It's the largest Hylian village with its sprawling, bountiful land. Oh, it's the largest. There are so many children living here that it seemed the ideal place to found a school. I've recruited Sim for the research institute to teach here. Probably Simon. Yeah. He was Pro's assistant for years, which makes him well-equipped to deal with the needs of quirky children. Love that. I'll be overseeing the school for a while myself to keep an eye on the students. I've commissioned Bolson, who taught his trade to Hudson of Hudson Construction, to construct a school for us. He seemed deeply moved by the request. This will be his final job in Hotno Village before he sets off on a journey. I had to add him a secret room to my house, one that won't appear on the plans. It's dim, but humidity and temperature controlled, so it's very comfortable. A secret room to my house. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. It's proven very useful when I'm working alone and need to concentrate. Working on the school has been moving along smoothly, but a major problem recently has reared its head. We don't have enough teachers. Simon is interviewing people, but he hasn't found a good fit yet. We'd like to hire someone intelligent, educated, and capable of earning the children's trust. Nurturing our children is the extension of our duty to this land. We shape our future by the way we shape their path. Sorry, there's just a... Like, that's good. That's a good thing. You're just it's interested in secret room. Well, no, it's just that that's just a weird thing, I think, to read in the context of, like, a Legend of Zelda game. Like, <laughs> me playing, like, Link's Awakening as a kid. Oh, it's like the the princess it's just royalty, a, what they do for the land. Well, it's just even that this passage at all is in yeah. the Zelda game, I think. It's like, when I'm playing Link's Awakening as a child, and I'm, like, slashing creatures on the beach... It's hard to imagine that, like, 30 years from now, the, the text in the game is like, nurturing our children is an extension of our duty to this land. And I'm like, I agree with you. It's just wild that we're here. I hope to see Sterling members of our community come to this village and take up that mantle as their teacher. Done. Previous. Oh, wait, sorry. You're good. <laughs> Let's go backwards. All right, secret so room. there's a secret room in, the, I mean, presumably this wait, wait, wait. house. What? The corner. No, not that corner. In the main room. Can there to the right or the horse? Cause it's like her horse. I thought maybe you'd shove something. I mean, there's also like another entrance. Let's go outside and look. There's this. There's also a well. We want to check the well. There's nothing in here. Zelda's secret well. Oh, well. Well? <laughs> Erp! Splash. Alright, Bright Bloom Seed and another journal. Though the calamity's over, its scars remain. A mountain of problems stands before us, even as we begin to rebuild. No matter where I go to offer aid, Link remains at my side. His a kindness that has taken a visible toll on his clothing. That's why I've put an order in for a new and improved champion's tunic, just for him. I just can't wait to see the look on his face when I surprise him with it. I'll hide it in the throne room so he won't find it until after our investigation. He would never expect the torches are the key. Well. Throne room? The throne room of the castle. Mm-hmm. Which... Oh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well-worn hairband. An old, worn, simple hairband. Its color is long faded, but it still has some life left in it. Wearing it in your hair makes you sentimental about times past. I need to see this. Yeah, let's put that on and find out what that's about. Oh. I can't rotate myself. Oh, wait. I have to click this first. There it is. When you don't care about armor, you just want to look cool. I do. Frog. There's a frog. There's two frogs. I am going to put on real armor uh, because armor is good. Well, I think this is the cold live. armor that you have on. 
Oh, it's gone. Because it can do that. It's not the armor armor. What? Oh. This is this is glow. Yeah. Glow good. We like to glow. I like to glow a little bit. Um, we don't have anything three pants. better, but three pants mm -hmm. is better than snow pants. Yeah, you're good there. Going up. Is that faster than doing what I was doing? Probably. All right. There's uh, no shortage of things to do because there are so many um, things. Oh my god. I need to reach my Where friend. is your friend? Is I he need to that reach way? My friend. I need my friend. My friend is what I need. My friend, I got separated. It's reasonable. My friend is saying I'm supposed to. I can't wait to catch up. There could be something important up there. I'm so tired. I just don't know how you're going to get him up there. Because that seems hard. He's like up here. Yeah, there's something important. I mean, like that mountain seems like. This is the heartbreak. Like. Oh, I don't remember that being so close to hot, no. Well, he's there if we ever want to deal with it. Just put the marker on the map. Let's put a little marker. Uh, what did we decide? Cor leaf. Leaf for, Kor for, for Korok. There you go. Okay. All right, back to Hotten, though. There's a lot of buildings. So there's, like, no shortage of things to do. And it also, it's, it's, it's pretty sprawling. There's... Yeah. I bet that's the school, right above my head. Yep. I bet so, too. All right, finally getting to the meat and potatoes of... I just walk in a circle. Hello there. Always happy to see a traveler in Hottenham Village. Are you one of those who came to see the new CC fashion line? Not to brag, but the mind behind it is my own daughter, CC. If you're looking for her, you'll probably find her at that clothing shop. I, I mean, boutique. Not sure what the difference is, personally, but CC always gets upset when I call her the clothing shop. Good day. Welcome to Hotno Village, here for some sightseeing. The Eastwind General Store is open for business. If you're here for Hotno's famous fresh produce, you're in the right place. Or if you like this super cute CC hat, check out CC's Pizza. You can hit the store across the way. Ventes Clothing, they're featuring a new line of hats right now. Thanks to CC, this village is the place to be. She's drawing in so many tourists that our sales are going up too. CC's putting our village on the map. Oops, there I go, shilling for their clothes shop again. I can hear Dad now. Just whose business are you promoting out there? Ah, the pot store. Hey. Yeah. Our little East Wind General Store carries off Hotnam Village's local specialties. Ever since Cece set up shop in the place across the way, Hotnam has made a name for itself with fresh fashion. Before that, though, this was a farming community from way back. We're a self-sufficient little bird. We eat what we harvest and sell the rest. I'll tell you what, you haven't lived until you've tried a bottle of fresh milk straight from Hot No Pasture. Head on up to the pasture and put your mouth straight on the udders. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be glad you did. That wraps up the sales pitch, I figure. Sorry for the song and dance, but I got a business to run. Ain't who you were saying? You guys, that's something I can do for you? Oh, this, uh, Cece made it. She set up shop in a place across the way. She left a long while back to practice her craft, but she perfected it and came back as a famous fashion designer. Now CC Fever is sweeping the village. You can't throw a rock without hitting someone wearing his hat. I can go try that. I don't know the first thing about fashion myself. My wife Amira cares much more about that stuff. Anything else? Bye. The veggies out in the field aren't for sale. If you're in the market for produce, come see us. Or just steal. <laughs> Boom. Sign our guest book. Thank you for signing the guest book. Oh, people are mad about something. Is that Cece herself? Oh. As I've said multiple times now, I can't admit three customers at present. 
What do you mean? We took the trouble to come here, now you're saying we can't get in? But I wanted to see Cece's new stuff. Not every day a mega fa famous fashion designer debuts new material. Yeah, everything I heard said this was some of Cece's best work. Oh. I'm so, so sorry, but we only have one entry ticket remaining. Mm. One ticket? So you're saying one person could go in? Hey, come on now. We can't just let one of us get a head start. Sure, I know that is just a joke. Maybe if we come back later, we'll have room for all of us. Uh. Yeah, it's not like this is the only clothing place in the village. What do you say we kill some time at the dye shop? Uh. Oh, or we could check out the pasture. I hear you can put your lips straight on the others. Speaking of which, I heard a little ways up the road from the pasture is a laboratory specializing in ancient stuff. Mm. Since we got all dolled up, might as well hit the town and see it all. So there's one ticket left, so none they of them go left. in. Uh, oh, thank goodness they gave up. Hmm? Uh, oh my, I'm, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Are you also a tourist who's come to see my sister? I I, I mean, the, the new line of CC products? As long as it's just you, you're free to go into the shop. CC herself is in there right now, in fact. Nothing you'll see is for sale. It's only on exhibition right now. Sorry to disappoint. Let me in. Is it CC? No. Ah, another practically perfect masterpiece. It's an exemplar of the form from every angle. Ah, Cece's full of herself. Got it. This is the sort of thing on which I've built my name and reputation as the world-renowned Cece. Hmm? Uh -huh. Oh, pardon me. Are you an admirer here to meet the incomparable Cece? Hmm. I must say, you don't seem to show any sort of interest in fashion. Welcome to Ventest Clothing, the only boutique in the world which carries the CC brand. And if you weren't aware, you stand before the very woman who changed this fasty old village into the birthplace of nouveau fashion. As proof, I present to you this. The CC hat. The newest and most magnificent work by yours truly, Cece. It goes on your head, darling. Do you see that luxurious curve? Wouldn't you call it the pinnacle of perfection? This piece is so special that I dare not assign a price to it. It's not for sale. I shall only part with it when I find someone truly worthy of owning it. Only the most impressive fashionista in Hyrule's trendiest village is worthy of such a crown! What's this all about Hyrule's trendiest village? I don't remember approving any new slogans for hot, no. Ah, look who's here. What can I do for you, oh esteemed mayor, Reed? I'm, I'm really sorry. I tried to stop him from coming in like you asked, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. Cece, you have got to quit littering the village with your weird art pieces. Maybe you don't realize, but plants need their sleep too. Those eyesores are so bright at night, they're keeping the veggies awake. It's a real problem for the crops. Hot Nose Foundation is its produce. What are we going to do if it fails? Now, now, dear, there's there's no need to get so worked up. I think some of the people here actually like her art, you know. Wouldn't it be better to hear her out? Don't fall for her line of twaddle. She's just got everyone in Hotno wrapped around her finger already. My duty is to look after the village, and that's what I mean to do. Looking after the village, you say? Who do you suppose you have to thank for Hotno's rejuvenation? Didn't need rejuvenating. Hotno Village is a peaceful place where folks live quiet lives, and that's the way they like it. Do they? Then let us leave the matter to the people to decide. My avant-garde approach versus this mayor's quaint, bygone ways. The citizens will decide which outlook will drive the future of the village. By holding the mayoral election! You're calling for a mayoral election? Sure, suits me. I'll win that pretty easy. 
Sophie, I delegate management of the mayoral election to you. What? Come on, Clavio. I don't feel like sticking around here any longer. It's time we headed back home. Oh my god, there's gonna be a, a, an election. Oh! You again. I've got a long to-do list in preparation for the mayoral election, and the sooner I get started, the better. Hmm. The answer should go without saying, but you are, of course... Oh, what am I? But of course! That settles that, I trust. It's plain for all to see that I'm a shoe in for the next mayor. Or so one would think. Yet there are stragglers in this village still supporting Reed. They need a mental makeover. Oh, that's threatening. And so, I have a fabulous plan to give out mushrooms to Reed. <laughs> My mushrooms. Mushrooms are synonymous with the sea. Oh, mushrooms are. <laughs> Wasn't really sure where we were going. Mushrooms are synonymous with the CC brand. Fungal fashion is the CC way. The mushrooms I give them will paint them inside and out. Oh God, with fresh, vibrant CC brand colors. Although, Sophie and I must mind the shop. Where will we find someone we can trust to carry out this vital task? I'll do it. There's the magic words I was waiting for. Your lifesaver. Now then, you'll be needing these shrooms. <laughs> these mushrooms are for the village's reed supporters. It's easy to recognize them by how unstylish they are. My supporters are all expert fashionistas dressed to the nines in CC. This should go without saying, but don't give one to anyone in Reed's family. There's also no need to give them to children. <laughs> travelers, or any temporary residents like the Sheikah researchers. That leaves us with, unless I miss my guess, a total of eight Reed supporters. Your mission is simple. Give a single Hylian shroom to each of those eight misguided voters. Well, off you go! That was a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot. Fashionable personnel only. Can you crawl through the window? I guess not. It's a shame. Oh. What's up with Sophie? She saddled me with so much work when she put me in charge of the mayoral election one minute ago. Um, sir? I feel like I should apologize for dragging you into this mess I found myself in. But since we are both involved now, could you give me a little advice? It's bedtime. <laughs> sure! Ah, I should have expected that. The thing I need your advice in is my sister. It's about Cece. Gosh, I'm wearing the best outfit for talking to the fashionista. I have a rock! <laughs> Lately, she's been sneaking off alone in the middle of the night. I don't think it's anything sinister, but the election is soon, and I don't want any last-minute surprises to hurt her chances. So I'd like you to tail my sister? Find out where she's going and what she's up to and get back to me. I've tried following her myself, but she spotted me right away. I really got an earful about it, too. If you succeed in finding out what she's doing, I can reward you, of course. You're the only one I can ask for help. I don't want any of the villagers finding out until I know what's going on. Help me out, please. CC secret. Wow, that was a lot, and, like, we just walked into the main part of the village. But look, I have these, like, glow things on chains all over my arms. Look how stylish. I mean, you do look like you just walked out of, like, a like a Kingdom Hearts game or something, <laughs> yes. Okay, let's take a break. Let's take a little break. A little tiny break. Oh, it's a doo -dee -doo -dee -doo -dee -doo. Did you go potty? A little tiny break. A little tiny break. Do, 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 do. Where is my mouse? Where A did poll it has go? begun. Who you vote? Who you vote? Who you vote? What's our options? Your options for who you vote are CC, Reed, Undecided, and Long. Chaz. 
Everybody loves Lonk. We really love boy. Mayor Lonk. Mayor Lonk is my true mayor. Oh God. Link and Zelda, they are in the same house. And what do they do in the house? They try to keep out the mouse. They want no mice. Mice is, they get into the rice. And then Zelda tries to cook a rice and says there's a rat inside of this. Also, they like to play games. Like Settlers of Catan. They play Settlers of Catan, they play it every night, and they like Carcassonne. Those are the only two games that exist, and also a game of dice exists. Those are all the games, no other games. Also, the bed seemed a little small. Hey, sir. Oh, yes, there's two people play Catan, a three plus player game. They play with uh, the horse. They play with Kepler. 9500 from Gamblers who says, Sing about Link and Zelda living together, hashtag family friendly. Last song of the night, I probably. Good boy. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, well. It's a family friendly stream. I don't think we've ever done anything on the stream before that would insinuate that it's That not. is small but snuggly. Also 500 bits of Camelos who just said, nice save. They play games. <gasps> Kiki. <laughs> we, we have other looks. <laughs> paper Moon gifted the sub to Christine F0201. Thank you Paper Moon. 20 months from KJ the Quiet One, 19 months the from Sentai Brad. Ended. The winner is Lunk. Truly, the winner is long. Read the Nintendo Painter gifted a sub to ban the streamer. Uh. Three bits from Jay Lineback, who says, "Don't blame, don't blame me. I voted for Kodos." I'm, I'm kind of curious if it's possible to like affect the outcome of the election. It might be. Yeah. But also, we'll find out. Uh, Five hundred ten bits. Oh, let's do a little cooking first. Let's do a little cooking for Circle Now Squared. Where did these come from? I don't know. Bowl, Bowl spoon. with spoon and egg. Parappas crack, crack, crack the egg into the bowl. Crack egg into crack bowl into whoops. Shout out to Thomas. Shout out to Thomas. Parappas the is a great game. I haven't played mm -hmm. it in uh, a million years. Circle now squared. Thank you. Uh, we also got 510 bits from Cheese Hammer. It says, man, I hate when I get a sudden, unexpected election popping up for no reason. Makes me feel so embarrassed, like everyone's staring at me. <laughs> Let's do some cooking for Camulus Magnus. <laughs> I can't follow that up. Mooncake. Water. 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 Wet mooncake. Wet. Wet bone. Oh. MacArthur Park dessert. That is so funny. Wow. Oh my god, that's good. That is so good. I am impressed. That is so good. <laughs> wow. Oh, people don't know the song. Oh, I, I, it's so hard to come up with the music in my head. Uh... Someone let the cake out in the rain And I don't think I can take it Cause it took so long to bake it And I'll never have that recipe again Oh no! It's a great song. Fun fact, fun fact, little fun fact about this song. That song was my most played song on Spotify in like 2021 or something. And I don't know why. I never played the song on purpose. It's just a part of my playlist. But at the end of the year, it came up. It was like, your most played song was MacArthur Park by Donna Summers. And I was like, why? 
why was it that? And it was like, oh, much more than the other songs. And I'm like, I did hear it a lot this year, but I never went to play it. <laughs> Emil says, I thought that was an original Weird Al song. No, no. So Weird Al did a parody called Jurassic Park, which is also very good, but that's a parody of MacArthur Park. It's a great song. I really love this song. It was a great I really, Thomas. I love that one. That's uh, it's one of my favorite recipes. Kami, let's thank you. Let's do some cooking for Reed. Soy sauce. Highly in shrimp. Broccoli. Broccoli. Raw prime meat. Bell pepper. Stir fry? Yeah, it looks like a stir fry. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Stir fry? Yeah, it looks like a stir fry. Stir fry. Okay, all right, moving on. <laughs> Reed, thank you. <laughs> we got a few, we got a bunch of other cooking. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what else is in here. All right, let's do some cooking for Jess. Okay, I, I want more song references. I'm so excited about the MacArthur Park one. Red Choo Choo Jelly, Star Fragment, Ruby, Meat on Bone, Tropical Drink. Godzilla's Atomic Breath Daiquiri. I haven't seen a Godzilla movie in a long time. Yeah. Jess, thank you. We're in the middle of a high, we're in the middle of the third high P train. We're still getting cooking. Let's let's do it. Cooking for Radio Dread. I promise we'll do at least one more episode at the end. I promise, no matter what. No matter how long this goes, there will be one more episode. Chopsticks, 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 chopsticks. Pick up sticks. <laughs> yeah. That is not. I, I mean, I didn't have an answer, but that was not anywhere where my mind went. Wow. Neat. Great here, Jed. Thank you. Uh, all right. Let's let's. Keep, Carly and I play pick cooking. up sticks all the time. Cooking for Link Mountaineer. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Armored porgy, tortilbo, lime. Fish taco. Slightly hard to chew fish tacos. Oh, that would ruin the taco experience immediately. Like, absolutely yes. immediately. Not a good fish taco at all. Also, I saw some people saying never challenge the chat. Listen, I'm just telling you how it is. I am i don't care how long this break goes. We will do an episode after. Link Mountaineer, thank you. Let's do cooking for Captain Joe. If you take wheat, cocoa, blueberries, and a frog. Mm. Pancake. Blueberry pancake. Protein-packed chocolate blueberry muffin. Yeah. I mean, that's good. Yeah. And then also, your guess was good. You have been seeming to nail nail them. Yeah, if y'all want to do a cooking break, then let's let's go. I I promised you an episode after, so like let's just all right, let's see what happens. Yeah, how high can the train go? You did level four. Let's do some cooking for Genesis. What we got? Chorizo, I love chorizo. Goron spice, leafy greens. Chorizo, I got sausage. Spicy chorizo. Like two sausages touching. Atkins Friendly Hot Dog Lettuce Wrap is much better than two hot dogs touching. Well, I think it's a good time for me to run to the bathroom. It's you need anything from downstairs? No, I'm good. I'm great. Kepi I'm doing great. I'm doing a downstairs? great job. Genesis, thank you. We had 912 bits from Reed the Nintendo Painter with the uh, Reed Bad Pun. Star Rain. Thanks. Let's do some cooking for D. Bradwell 5. Two hot dogs touching is also a good raid message. Pineapple. 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 Lionel hoof. Some people love Hawaiian Lionel hooves. Some people think pineapple doesn't belong on Lionel hooves. I read that as fast as I could, and I just barely managed to get all of that out before it disappeared. <laughs> Bradwell, thank you. 
Uh, we had, uh, 300 bits of Ambie Walsh that says, So Hyrule has lots of beds, but Link can only sleep in beds he owns, whether that's temporary and neither the stable or permanent. Check the bed in Zelda's house. Oh. We should do that. Uh, let's do some cooking for Lost Vagabond. Y'all have almost finished level five. Raw whole bird, garlic, moblin guts. <laughs> earthbound, earth, earth, earthbound. Mother two. Vagabond, thank you. We had 17 months from Nemeril. Appreciate it. Did y'all finish? Was it level five? Cooking for Kexira! Sure, let's keep cooking. Let's, let's, let's keep it going. Let's see what we got. Egg. White choo-choo jelly. And a chocolate bar. That's... That, okay, that's very good. That's very good. That's very good. Very clever. It's very... The best ones are the ones, I think, where the, you get the ingredients... You have a hard time figuring it out, and then as soon as it happens, you're like, it's so obvious. And that one is, that's like, that's so good. That's definitely one that if Mal was sitting here, Mal, Mal would have called that. Because Mal's very clever. Kixira, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, you, oh, so y'all finished level five. You are on level six. What's our record? Does it tell us? I don't know how high we've got. Link Mountaineer, let's do some cooking. Donut. Double donut. Triple donut. That's four donuts. Is it five? It's going to be five donuts. That's not not quite a half dozen. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. Well, I don't have any arguments there. I guess that is technically correct. Link Mountaineer, thank you. All right, Camulus, let's, let's, let's take a look. A Volt Fruit, Electric Safflina, Electric Key Swing, Soda Water, Tropical Drink. Chibi Robo's Battery Boost Punch. Also, a, a game that I think about a lot. A game that is in the is in the back of my mind of like I want to play that because I know that that would be probably good throughout. Camulus, thank you. JDU nineteen ninety seven gifted a sub to Sandwich Vamp. Appreciate it. And let's do a thousand bits for CD Child to do some cooking. Chocolate bar, beans, a disappointing chocolate bar. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, God, M&Ms are basically chocolate beans. I hate that realization, but they're basically chocolate beans. That's, man, man. They basically are. There's a little bit more to beans than that. CG Chow, thank you. We got 300 bits of Ninja. It says, you may have noticed there are side quests and side adventures. Generally, adventures will be more involved, have some story going on and give better rewards. I actually hadn't noticed that, but thank you. you I could have figured out what the difference was, but I didn't notice that they existed. Let's do some cooking for bored turtle. You take a lime, you take a coconut. You put the lime in the coconut. <laughs> lime in the coconut bellyache beverage. That was a whole thing. What was that thing even from? It's a song. But what, was it a commercial? Mm -hmm. I don't remember now. That was from Board Turtle, thank you. Let's do a little more cooking for Genesis. And you drink it all up. Wait, this is lime and coconut again. Lime and the coconut belly egg reliever. <laughs> Thomas, you get it? 
It's what the song says. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. I liked it. Genesis, thank you. Let's do some cooking for thorough down. A bowl with spoon. Choo choo jelly. Red choo choo jelly. Yellow choo choo jelly. Jello. A glass of milk. Gummy choo choo cereal. I don't want any of my cereal to be gummy. That's not what I want. I don't want that to be a thing. That's not the thing that I want to happen. I want my cereal to be crunch. A good crunch. Throw it down, thank you. Let's do some cooking for Camulus Magnus. Flour. Energy powder. Bird egg. Improvised smoke palm. <laughs> Wisha! Wisha! That's very clever. That's very, very clever. Oh, y'all fit. Oh, I thought the timer ran out on level six. It did not. You did it. We are in level seven. Camulus, thank you. I, I told you. I don't care how long the break is. We're still going to play after this, so, like, hit it. It's cook time. Let's cook for bored turtle. You take a bread, you take a peanut butter. You take a jelly, and, and I, oh, 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 we've gotten lost. We've gotten lost from our, our PB. The CCTV PB and J. The snack that smiles back. Thomas, y'all, poor turtle. Thank you. Miss you, Thomas. Big Brother is watching. Let's do some cooking for random player 818. Let's see where we're going. Baguette. Basil. Mint. Takeout box. I paid $40 for this meal. I'm not letting any of it go to waste. Thomas is a treasure. <laughs> that is a mood. That is a mood. I, I free you bread and half the, the garnish. garnish. Thank you, random player. Let's do some more cooking for Genesis. We got the topaz. We got a ruby. Sapphire. This is a gem. Gems. Diamond. Cane sugar. Rock candy. There was one earlier, there was Cadbury cream egg, and you would have got it. I could not get it, but you would have got it. This is my, honestly one of my I favorite- I want one Cadbury cream egg a year at Easter. One of my favorite things about the cooking alert is just seeing like if Mal will get it. It's, I like that. Genesis, thank you. We also had 100 bits from Omega Kayla. Appreciate it. Thank you for contributing to uh, <laughs> the world's longest break. Let's do some cooking for Camulus. You got a bass, you got a bread. <laughs> <laughs> the emoji. First off, really glad emoji support works. Yeah. Second off, that's great. Mm -hmm. That was great. I love it. I love it. That's so good. <laughs> More biblical jokes. Please, please. Camulus, thank you. Stu Low cooking for Nemero. Y'all are halfway through level seven. Thomas is done. Ruby, yellow choo-choo jelly, electric key swing, cocktail glass. Martini time? It's martini. Pikachu's rosy cheek sparkle spritzer. That sounds fun. I don't think that they would ever do like an officially licensed Pokemon thing at like a bar. Yeah. Which is a shame because at this point I'd, I'd say almost that there's more people playing Pokemon that are old enough to drink. <laughs> it's a shame. Emerald, thank you. Omega Kayla gifted a sub to Gabriel. Appreciate it. Let's do some cooking for Andy. Andromeda31. 
tentacles. Eyeballs. Pie! <laughs> 4 and 20 blackbirds were baked in a pie? I get so nervous when you say things because I'm like, that's real specific and could be in there. Octopi. I do like octopi. I like the word. Yeah. This is a fun word. Andromeda. Thank you. Cooking time. Protopia Guardian. Egg. Oh, we already had four and twenty. Eyeball. Octorok eyeball. Hoof. Make a little glue. Add an eye to an egg to make egg clops. Friend of Shrimpy. Love Shrimpy. Love Shrimpy. <laughs> Protopia Guardian, thank you. Did the train end? The train ended! The train ended. Level seven. Level seven. Eighty-one percent through level seven. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Let's do a little cooking for Vagabond. It's a pickle. It's a balloon. Pickle in the air. <laughs> Pocket pickle? That sounds very dirty. I Is there a... Is there a it's a snack for later. You just need oh, sorry. I'm thinking of Pickle Pocket. Pickle Pocket is the thing that's dirty. Pocket Pickle is... Vagabond, thank you. We had 300 bits from Action Cat who says, Happy Friday. I'm super excited for tomorrow because my boyfriend and I are going to be meeting up with an online friend who just so happens to be visiting family 20 minutes from us. Seeing Mission Impossible. Nice! Very cool. Plus one uh, for everyone that uh, meets up with an online friend. Because so many of my friends are from the internet. And I love it. Let's do some cooking for aspiring fish. Sour cream. Spoon. It's a snack for me! A Mallory delicacy. Mal's midnight snack. Ah. Uh. Listen, it goes great uh, on everything. Yeah, Burgers. I, I can do a little sour cream. I like a little, I'll put sour cream willingly on, on things. But like, it's like a, it's like a thin layer. And Mallory's just like, pump. It's the best condiment. It's not for me. Aspiring fish. Thank you. Let's do some cooking for Anise. You take a bread. You take a soy sauce. Honestly, that's good enough. It's good enough. Bread sauce. <laughs> I really like soy sauce. Like, I like soy sauce a lot. I'm willing to put soy sauce on all sorts of stuff. Um, what I really like is sodium. <laughs> love, I love, I love a good uh, Every a time good you salt. say sodium, I just think of the Mystery Science Theater song. Anise, thank you. Let's do some cooking for Bored Turtle. Cheese wedge. Cheese wedge. Is it a cheese hat? Is it a Packers cheese hat? Cheese wheel. Mal goes cheese hat, I go cheese wheel. One of them is right. Oh. An appropriate grilled <laughs> cheese sandwich. Oh no. It's poking fun at my expense. Oh no. I really thought it would be cheese wheel or cheese hat. Instead it was uh, something I did... Listen, sometimes when you make a grilled cheese sandwich, you put seven slices of cheese on it. That's just a thing that happens sometimes. The bread was big. The bread was really big. Poor turtle, thank you. Let's do some cooking for Murmur. This has never happened to me. Give it time. Beans, onion, cane sugar, bacon. Monster extract. Bush's baked beans, secret family recipe. Oh, it's so obvious now. That yeah, with the is. sugar, the yeah. onion, the beans, and uh, that's very good. Yeah, that's very good. Very clever. I also like that the secret ingredient is monsters. <laughs> roll that beautiful bean footage. Don't actually roll the bean. I don't know what happens here. Not sure. Uh, <laughs> Murmur. Thank you. We did it. Art. We got through it. Uh, thank you, everyone, for all of the, uh, for the, an extended, it was like we had a little cooking show for a minute. 
It's like we took a break to do a little cooking show. I had some grapes. And you had some grapes. That's we cooked grapes. Your favorite song. Uh, let's do art then. We got three arts in the queue. No, 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 no. Yeah, wooden <laughs> bow. I won't take a rusty broadsword sitting in the ground, but a wooden bow. That's what's up. I also had space for it. <laughs> <gasps> He's an idol. He would make such a good singer idol. I, I mean, I don't know that he'd be a great singer. He is, though. He does sing occasionally the song of his people. Stealth outfit. Double yoink. Oh, this is a game changer. Yeah, remember remember how mm -hmm. good that was? And then yeah. you saw the, the, the stealth outfit yeah. in Kakeriko Village, and you're like, we'll never need this. And then you left. Hi, sweetheart. That was an odd choice. That was an odd choice. Yeah. Oh, you leave sweet home? boy. Can I have one? Can I have one? I have headbutt too. No, that's that's an, a Kepi and I thing. Headbutt for mom? <laughs> you get one. Oh. That's it. Just the one. Oh, okay. I'm, hi. We're gonna do an episode, so. Headbutt. 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 Oh, don't don't blow into the. Hi. Don't blow into the eye of God. <laughs> uh, all right, let's uh, let's do let's do one more uh, one more episode. What do you think you need? What? You need nothing. <laughs> nothing. I desire everything. You're good. But I can have nothing. All right, let's do us a game. Final Zelda of the evening. All right. You ready? Yeah. I love that. I like That's how my we have thing. one glow. Yeah, glow level. I want to get my glow level higher. I want to be glow tastic. All right, where were we? All right. <clears throat> we were stealing an election. <laughs> There's so much hot in there to explore. So we went into the pot shop. <laughs> um, let's talk to the. Oh, you have a quest. Because. Love's fire burns forever. What's the matter? You could tell me, weirdly handsome dude. Why does everyone like me in Hot No Village? You look at what you're wearing. Wait, is that the reason they're talking know. about being handsome? They, because they can see like some I of my no idea. some of my chest. I mean, I do have chest. It's very. <laughs> it is very like. If I saw a man, like, walk through town and, like, just had, like, a piece of fabric here and then just body wrapped and changed, like, it, it does have, like, a certain like, mental effect. You look like you've been places. Sure, things are peaceful in the old village, but it's a jungle out there in the world. That's why I stick around here, checking out the scene, making sure no strangers put the moves on Miss Ivy. Who's Wait, Ivy? We just talked to her. Wait, I mean, that's why I make sure no strangers come in from outside to disturb the peace. Ivy. Ivy. You forgot the miss. Always add the miss. Miss Ivy is the poster girl oh, for the East yeah. Wind General Store. There's no problem if you want to talk to Miss Ivy. Just keep the naive, I just moved here and won't somebody show me around? Act to a minimum. Not that anyone could be as young, guyish, or fashion-esque as me. By the way, quick question for you. What kind of present do you think would make Miss Ivy at East Wind happy? I'm not asking for me, you understand. A friend of a friend wanted advice, and I'm having a tough time with the answer. Obviously, I can't just go ask her directly. Let me know if you think of something. She's just, like, right here. So I'm just gonna, like... Sup? You wanna... If you're interested in Hot No Village specialty goods, go right in. Or if you'd like the look of a CC brand hat, you'll find it over. At Ventus Clothing over there. What do you like? Oh, what do I like? Where did that come from? Mm -hmm. Maybe frogs? Sure, why not? I like frogs. <laughs> if I, I like... had a hundred hot-footed frogs, I'd be incredibly happy. I like toidles. Oops, I couldn't think of anything, so I just told him what my dad likes instead. Oh no. It turns out that what Ivy wants the most in life is 100 hot-footed frogs. 
I should break the news to Manny. Oh no. I'm not trying to be rude, buddy, but uh, what were you doing with Miss Ivy from the general store? Sure, I noticed. I've been checking her out for a long... I mean, a, a friend of a friend tipped me off. I talked to her. You went and asked what Miss Ivy likes right to her face? What's the idea? Uh oh, God played smooth. Can't let him guess I'm the one dying to know. All right, then. So what is it? What, what does Miss Ivy want? I can't leave my friend's friend hanging. She from... She wants hot-footed frogs, and a hundred of them at that. Yeah, that checks out. Miss Ivy's love for animals is just one of the many charming things about her. Or so my friend's friend is always saying. That was a close one. I better play it smooth. Still, collecting 100 hot-footed frogs seems like a big job, even for someone you love. Ah. But not if I had help. You traveler types go into wells and caves all the time, right? That's just the kind of place where you find frogs. You don't even have to go far. Didn't I hear about a bunch of frogs in a well somewhere in this village? Maybe I should check it out later. What? I, I didn't say anything. <laughs> Look, let's focus on how helpful it would be if you gathered ten of those frogs. There'd be a reward in it for you. Won't you do it for my friend's friend's sake? So... We do not have a hundred. No, we don't. And I doubt we, we have even have ten. Two. We have two. So... That quest will never be completed. <laughs> Maybe we'll find a. They said there's a there's a, a well. Yeah. Oh god, I didn't. Know that. <laughs> you find your own damn frogs. <laughs> um, let me go in here and see if there's someone in here. Oh, everything's. It's like a paint. There's art mush store. Uh, mushrooms. Is yeah, the, that's the theme right. for Cece. I know, but everywhere, everyone is obsessed. Yes. Everyone's got a mushroom buddy. All right, let me just. Uh, everyone needs a mushroom buddy. Everyone, everyone does need a mushroom buddy. Oh, this is fun. Look, Amira, someone who forgot to put on his CC brand outfit today. Get with the times and put on some CC brand clothes already. How else will anyone know your loyalty to CC style? Walk around the village looking like that if you want, but don't blame me when CC roasts your fashion sense. <laughs> CC set up her own CC brand line. It proves what a fantastically avant-garde charismatic designer she is. Why, CC single-handedly set the tone for Hot No Village's whole look. CC's shop is to the left of the village entrance. It's the stylish shop with the mushroom clothing decoration. If you're feeling plain, shabby, or drab, CC has the cure. Go ask her to coordinate your look today. What does this say? Hot Nose Mayor election is on. Read. The incumbent mayor of Hot Nose Village is running against CC, darling of the fashion world. To settle whose vision for Hot Nose will win out, the two of them have agreed to hold an election. Details soon. I think we should enter. <laughs> I want to be the mayor. Uh, there's something. What is? That's um, the dye shop. Something is with the dye shop. Building condemned. Look up. Is there a door? You can climb. You're Link. There's a, there's window. a window. I can't just climb this, can I? Oh, I can climb anything. Yeah, you can climb anything. Spider Link. Spider Link. <laughs> Hmm. All right, down we go. Curious. Well, nothing here. <laughs> Arrow. Wait. Is there seriously nothing here? That's weird. I thought for sure. <laughs> Building's open. Can I go? Oh, I can't even ascend out of here, so I should probably just go. There's nothing in here? No idea. It's weird. That is weird. That's going to be something. I just don't know what it is yet. All right. Oh, shoot. Gotcha. Dirtbag. I remember my problems with Hightail Lizards from Breath of the Wild. I won't let that happen again. You gonna release that one? No! They belong to me. Forever. Hmm. Okay. Well. Uh. Someday a second store. Uh. Welcome to Kochi Dye Shop. 
Right, so you're a new customer, I think? Ah. Well, I don't do the dying around here. I, I want my hubby for that. You want my hubby for that. This activity is getting to be a problem. I mean, I'm grateful to Cece that our shop is taken off like this, but every day is so exhausting now. Hmm. <laughs> if you are looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. You do you do. Welcome to Koji's Eye Shop, where we live to die. If you have any dye ingredients, it's 20 rupees to dye an item. That includes our service charge, of course. Let's get going and dye or get up to... Huh? Ooh-wee, that's a lovely paraglider you've got there. Nowadays, not only do we dye clothes, we also offer a fabric rework surface. Bring me some fabric, and I can rework your paraglider with flying colors. You may be a first-time customer, but that's fine. We have a special introduction to our new service for folks like you. Ta-da! Your very own introductory fabric. Oh, God, Cece. <laughs> Have you dropped by Ventes Clothing at the village entrance yet? Cece, the famous designer who runs the place now, cooked up the cutting-edge design on this fabric. Every region has its own unique fabric designs. Keep an eye out for them wherever you go. Think of me when if you find some new fabric, won't you? We can rework your paraglider with it for you to fly the skies in style. <laughs> Dying clothes to the color of your choice, reworking paragliders with some new cloth. Either way, it'll take just 20 rupees. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm good for right now, the second. <laughs> but thank you. I, I, I am interested in dyeing clothing, but I d don't know that I want to dye this Jingle Bell set. Um, or maybe I do. Maybe that's, maybe that's what's been missing in my life. We ended up dyeing quite a bit of clothing, I think, in the last, the last time, because we had some sets that were definitely yeah. a little off kilter. So I saw this. I didn't go in this. No, I did go in this house. This was Mushroom House. All right, so I've seen all of this. I haven't been in here. It's very hard to keep straight where I've... No, I have been in here. God! No, you haven't. Wait, what? I haven't? No, but there was nothing. They just look identical. Oh. Yeah, it's not quite the same house. All these empty homes. I guess people live here. Yeah. And they're, like, out doing whatever it is School. people do. Yeah, the children own the homes. Hot lid. Hot lid. Cooking places. This was the inn. Yeah, it is the inn. It's a donkey. Say hi to your mother for me. Let's go up here. This is where we can do a sleep. Or maybe get some juicy tidbits. I had no idea Wharton could be so stubborn. He would always humor me before we got married, no matter what I asked. Would it be so hard for him to wear a simple CC brand hat? I don't understand why he's this dead set against it. Oh, can I help you? Oops, I really can't be dwelling on that right now. Not while I'm on the clock. Hello there, we're having nice weather again today. Welcome to Ton Pu Inn. Will you be staying with us today? A regular bed is 20 rupees, or if you're looking for a more relaxing and restorative mind and body experience, you can have one of our extra soft downy beds for 30 rupees. You have soft beds? What? Yes, they're much more comfortable to sleep on than our standard beds. You'll wake up feeling nice and refreshed. Everyone who sleeps on one talks about how how they feel brimming with energy. Wow. Take care and visit us again soon. I want to meet your husband. Next time Wharton is leaning carelessly against a terrace, I'll catch him off guard and jam a hat on his head. That sounds like a lovely marriage. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure your relationship is great, and this is not indicative of many problems. Uh, where is your husband? Um, where is... Okay, this is an inn, and there is no one staying here? There is no one staying here. There he is. <sighs> hey there, brother. Oh, if you don't know me, I'm a worker at the inn. Whoever's at the counter right now can help you out if you need something. It's probably my wife, Prima, you'll be dealing with. Every time I show my face around there, she demands to know why I'm not wearing CC brand clothes. So I'm keeping my distance until the fad dies down. I never knew my dear Prima was the type to get so worked up about fashion. You need something else? Something not related to the inn? Why don't you have a Hylian shrimp? Ah. Oh, for me? Thanks! My wife loves CC stuff, so I'll save it as a treat for her. I'm not too into the designs myself, but she's pretty pleased with them. And she does look incredibly cute when she wears them, too. Yeah, that CC is alright in my book. And I'm not the only one. Coyan from the farm on the hill said the same thing. 
Farm on the hill. <laughs> Drown self immediately. <laughs> Farm on the hill. <laughs> Wait, which way is the- Dude, is... I saw the weirdest thing today. This guy just gave me this I guess, mushroom and jumped off the cliff. I guess this is the- There's still crap we haven't yeah, seen. Yeah, the school was but the I'm, other way. I'm gonna go this way, I guess. It's already- the, the children aren't even at the school anymore. A well. I love wells. I tried to grab it, but I realized it's alive. So I need it to be, like, dead. Those aren't frogs. No. Maybe Manny's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like. Oh, those are frogs. Oh my goodness. All right, I'll head down that way in a second. Is there anything in here? A fish, a mushroom. Stupid fish. A rock, another frog. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is, Oh, and also that thing. Uh, let's see. Let's do by type. Throw a tomato at him. Boo! Boo! Ow! Jerk. Sled shield seems pretty good. Um, but I want to save it for sledding. Yeah. Good to know, good to know. <laughs> You're hitting uh, them with a the rock. I thought, I thought I had a different thing equipped. I don't. Oh, they're already dead. What a horrible horn. <laughs> Yay, though I walk through the fire on the ground. We'll fear no evil. Uh, yeah, I might as well keep grabbing these every time I see them. We are like under the lake. Was there um a rock that you could blow up? Right near me? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I found my tomato. Your tomato. Thank God. Uh okay, well then I do want this. I thought that was gonna work. Um, I thought I would do like more stuff. It didn't do more stuff. Your rock hammer. I can make a new one. Which is, I will need to make a new one though. Like. Oh, there's more frogs. Yeah. Of course. It's the it's the frog place. Gotcha. Nice. Um, that was barely. Yeah. Uh. Oh, I tried to grab that. I was like, "What are you, little fella?" <laughs> That's the. Turned them into ice cubes. All right. So I actually need a rock because I need a new rock thing. There's one across the way. Is there? Okay, yeah. great. So let's do a fuse and then a uh, normal weapon. See, this seems special because it has a but little. But it's also a four. But it's also a four, right? And yeah. I can I can undo things. Like, it's it's untouched by human hands, and therefore it is precious and sacred. But I'm like, but how precious and sacred? Probably not that much. Let me run up through here and see what I can find. There's more of this stuff. We probably want to continue to collect as many of these things as possible. Rock salt. salt. Ha, cha, 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 cha. There's a frog. Bomb flowers, that's good. We've been running low on There's those. another frog or two. Okay. I mean, we're gonna wind up with ten. Yeah. We probably have ten already. Bomb flower. What am I... 
What? What's using my batteries? Your bow. Oh, I have a, what bat? What bow am I using? Uh, Zonite bow. A special bow. This does do thirty damage, which is a lot. Um, what does the Zonite bow even do? A Zonite bow that draws power from your energy cell. Power drains, and arrows can fly much farther. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Let me equip the the world's worst bow for hunting small animals. Um, that's better, or just this. Are there more um, frogs? This is a very well, I'm sure big. There's the bunny. Yeah, that is always indicative of like yeah. reaching the end of the thing. Okay. Frog. Fire. Hmm. Yeah. 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 You also have a have a what flame emitter shield. Oh, oh did that just do the music for? Um... Yeah, it's doing the music for the thing. Oh, good that it's happening right now. This is a perfect time for this to occur while I'm down here in this little hole. Love that. This is a... There's frogs. It's very... I wanted to grab them because I thought that would respawn them. Uh-huh. It's very scary for that to happen in the underground. Yeah, yeah. Every other time in the game you want to skip it's X and then there it's like plus. I don't know why. You oh. have done. Is this the way out? No. I mean idea. I guess the way out is ascend. Let me grab this and a few of the uh bomb flowers because I wasted so many of them. I don't have time for you, sorry. Like you seem you seem great, but I really don't have time. I'm I'm only here for frog. Thanks. Alright, and bomb flower. Now we're in the west well, so there's an uppy. Oh, so I uppy here. traveled. There's the there's the whole freaking family. Yeah, they're Alright, going up. I was trying to get up the hill, but then we came here, which is fine. We're by the school? Are those more frogs? I mean, yes. Are, are there just a lot in the village because they want you to try and maybe get to 100? That's just so many. Or are they in the pond? They're in the pond. I mean, I did get a lot, That's but I'm... That's the school. This is the school. Okay. Well, now I'm going this way. Ah, uh, yes. 1.30 a.m. Okay, so maybe I should... W <laughs> so at this point, I'm just going to finish the episode because yeah, I spent so much time... So next episode, you'll just have the entirety of the episode. Oh, a goat. You don't like that. Um, if I make a fire... I, oh, wait, that's the wrong shield. If I, make, if I make it... Dang it! Now I'm mad. If I make a fire... Um, not that fire, but if I make, like, a, a sleepy fire, I can... Ah, uh, sleepy fire. Then I can I can meet the children and um, do stuff. So if you want to make a fire... I, I got this. If you want to make a fire, all you do is you would... You would... Wait, I can... Um, so you oh, gotta chop a tree. So you start by chopping a tree. You take this, you chop a tree. I remember how to play this game. You chop a tree down. It turns into that. You say, give me the wood. It gives you the wood. That thing broke, I didn't want it anyway. And then you take a wood. You go, wood, where's the wood? Oh, gee, just mm, wood, where, wood, 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 wood. You take a wood, you hold a wood, you take a wood, you put it on the ground. Yeah, Miss Susie 
see, there's a guy sleeping in front of a campfire in this... front of school. <laughs> yeah, I am going to be removed by the police. Um, sir? Sir, what are you doing? I'm waiting for the children. Okay, all right, and we're calling the cops. All right, I'm here. Where are the kids? You're late. School starts at 8 a.m. Man, there are... Oh, there's four children. I mean, I guess that's a lot. All right. Uh... Stream died for some reason, but the recording is still fine. So we're just giving it a second. Dan can cut this out. Stream is back. Stream is back. Stream is back. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. Sometimes it poops itself. I don't know. Hi. Welcome back. Dan will cut this out. It'll be like nothing ever happened. <clears throat> Yes, yes, what is it? Oh, it's you, Link. I haven't seen you in... Link! You're back! Ah, my apologies for the outburst. C clearly, you're back in town, then. But what of Princess Zelda? She gone. Ah, Princess Zelda's still missing, which is the reason you came here alone. That, that makes more sense. Princess Zelda built this school, you see. With her own two hands. She cared so much about the children, I'm... Sure, this would be one of her first stops if she had returned. Right now, we're covering history, which was very important to Princess Zelda. We're focusing on Hyrule's history alongside the Calamity. You know, Link, you're welcome to sit in on a lesson if you'd like. Don't correct me. Yeah. Today's class will be a history lesson. The st <laughs> the, the, sto <laughs> the story of Hyrule... <laughs> is deeply intertwined with the Calamity, and that is no exaggeration or embellishment. The Calamity has been visited upon the land of Hyrule several times before. It was sealed away 10,000 years ago by the sacred princess and a hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness. Isn't that just a fairy tale? Over time, history and legend sometimes blur together. All the stuff 10,000 10, years ago and stuff, who cares? You got any pictures or proof to back up this so-called 10,000-year-old calamity? Yeah. It's no fairy tale, I assure you. These are real historical events. This is a problem. I'll need to show them some kind of depiction of the calamity from 10,000 years ago. Otherwise, this lesson is over before it began. I'm sorry, Link. This isn't how I thought the lesson would go. What School kind of teacher are you, Simon? <laughs> sorry. School is a failure. <laughs> If I had more foresight, I'd have borrowed the screen depicting the Calamity from Lady Impa's Hall. Kakariko Village, where the hall is located, is also included, but it's too far to the northwest for a casual I visit. I can just teleport there for a casual visit. If only I could show these children a detailed image of the screen depicting the Calamity. I think they'd understand. Although I suppose it isn't in Lady Impa's Hall now. Is it more accurate to call it Lady Pius Hall? Teach me a lesson. So they just want me to go there and take, take a, a photo. photo and come back. Yes. This would be easier with the Traveler's Medallion, right? Because You don't have it. Because I know. But that's you the could th also just... Where's my nearest uppies? Oh, you, it's not close. You have a... Right there in town. What? This? Any of those three. Yeah, but it's not super close. Fine, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do the thing where... Kakerika Village, Kakerika Village, Kakerika Village. We're going to Kakerika Village. I'm going to Kakerika Village. I'm going to lay by his all. I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to say... You're not even shocked. You just left right in front of them. If only there was a way we could prove that magic there was, was the real. magic was real. I don't know. Can't prove it. If only we could prove it. Unfortunately, it's impossible. We cannot do it. So I'm going to drop in here. I'm going to take a little photo of something, and then I'm going to go back, and it'll be likely split. Boppity bay, boppity boo. All right. Marcus Hurst Shrine. Lady Pius Hall. Lady Pius Hall. Lady Pius Hall. Right below you. Right there. Inside, I'm inside. Left it out again, whatever. And then um, this not it. thing. What, what does the quest say? The quest says very specifically, elaborate picture of the screen depicting the calamity. The screen in question is kept at Pi Hall in Kakariko Village, which is where I'm at. Elaborate picture. Not that. Not that. Elaborate picture. It's an elaborate, Upstairs. an elaborate picture of the calamity. An elaborate 
picture. Elaborate this. Yes. Screen depicting the calamity. Got it. That's it. I did it. I've done my duty. And now I gotta go. Uh, the closest thing to the children. This is the children. That's not the children. The chil This is the children. That's the children. I'll go to this. I'll quickly run back. I. I hope that it's not night. Because there is a chance that it'll be night. You I just don't know. Light another fire. I'm gonna light it on the like the roof of the school. Like that's where I'm gonna camp out. They can't stop me. No, they can't. No one can stop you when you're Link. Nobody. Where's Tulin? Why don't I have my bird? Where did he go? Does he just leave in villages for some reason? Does he feel like he's not welcomed here because he's a ghost? People here are like, they're not real keen on the ghost thing. Fortunately, it's 1.15 p.m. I wasn't gone very long. I'm just gonna burn this again. <laughs> little hop. Just a little hop. Does it work on the building? No. It's a flame retardant school. So, uh, for this class, we'll be going over the Calamity again. Let's start by reviewing our last lesson. Mr. Simon, can you prove any of this? Isn't it more likely that over time, history and legend started to blur together? Are we still talking about how the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell? Can you point to any paintings or images that actually show there was a Calamity 10,000 years ago? I can see I'll have to actually show the class the screen depicting the Calamity to move my lesson plan forward. I have a pee pad. What's this? A screen depicting the Calamity? Uh, class, please take note here. This is a rare opportunity to see a primary source regarding the Calamity. Wow, this looks like the real thing. So the legend was true? That's amazing. You know, seeing this makes me feel like it might have happened yesterday. Well, if you got documented proof, that's good enough for me. Go on, Mr. Simon, tell us the rest of the story about the Calamity. Yep. That's just how you get kids to pay attention. That's how children work. Mm -hmm. Ah, of course. Thank you so much, Link. My lecture about the Calamity might run long, but I hope you'll stay for it anyway. Sure. The Calamity has visited this land of Hyrule several times over. However, 10,000 years ago, there were divine beasts built by the Sheikah using their advanced technology. Each of them was controlled by a skilled pilot as well. With the sword that seals the darkness and the power of the sacred princess, the ancient hero stopped the Calamity. For a long while after that, the lands of Hyrule knew peace. But the time when the people forgot about the Calamity was the moment it returned to menace them once more. Tell us more, when did this happen? This all happened about a hundred years ago. It began with an oracle prophesying the Calamity's return. The royal family took their cues from the legends of the past. They found and excavated the divine beasts. Skilled members of the Rito, Goron, Zora, and Geruda peoples were selected to pilot them. They were called the Champions. With the wielder of the sword that seals the darkness and the sacred princess, all the pieces from the legend were in place. But this time, the Calamity would not be bested so easily. Did, did something happen? Sadly, the sacred princess was unable to awaken the holy power within her. The divine beasts were taken over by the Calamity. Those selected to pilot them lost their lives in the process. Worse still, the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness was badly hurt. Just when all seemed lost, the sacred princess came into her power and devoted her whole being to keeping the Calamity at bay for 100 years. Is everyone following along so far? After spending 100 years dormant, the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness awakened. His wounds healed. He won back the Divine Beast with the help of several allies, including some of the champion's descendants. And in the end, the hero defeated the Calamity, and the Sacred Princess stopped the evil one. Sorry, I got a little emotional there at the end. It's a true story, though. He's right here. All, all that we have, our land, our lives, our civilization, we owe it all to those who fought through those centuries. Wow, I want to be like the ancient hero and give the next generation good lives, too. Ah, that went splendidly. Words cannot convey my satisfaction. And I couldn't have done it without you showing us the screen, Link. Once again, thank you so much for your assistance. Oh, that's right, you should have something for all your help. Would this do? It's rice. With the new vegetables being developed, they're harvesting less rice these days. That's a shame, as it's a favorite of mine. You should taste it for yourself, Link. Speaking of rice, our next subject is home economics. I plan to use the occasion to talk up dishes that use Hylian rice. I'll need that rice back. Well, good. 
Um, excuse me, but... Class is in session now. If you need to talk, please do so after we're finished. Oh. Sorry, Simon. Sure. Oh, this ought to be good. Astra is one of Meta's children. She's a very active girl. I believe we have Meta to thank for that charming bob cut she sports. She loves her father and always wants to talk about his comings and going. Sorry, I re read that as comings and gongs. As a former teacher, I didn't really write about my kids, like, fashion sense or, like, hairstyles. Like, Does that feel extremely weird to yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. Lately, she's been especially focused on the highly intimate as Meta is growing. For a time, she seemed out of sorts after Miss Cece bought their house next to the clothing shop. But she was back to her usual bright self soon enough, noting that her new home is cute, colorful, and close to Froggy. She has a real knack for finding the silver lining in every situation. Karen is the only daughter of the mayor and his wife. She's kind-hearted but shy and seems to lack self-confidence. She's very perceptive, though. She has a way of seeing right to the core of things. I'm sure you know, Princess. This is oh, for Zelda. this is written for Zelda. I was like, what the... I... <laughs> I'm sure you know, Princess, that Mayor Reed has been breeding vegetables to appeal to the younger generation. It was Karen who first noticed that her peers were losing interest in produce. She figured this out based on nothing but the number of customers and total items in stock at the general store. I see her one day becoming a scholar to rival Pura, possibly even surpassing her. Azu is the brother of Ivy from the general store, but he'll tell you his true identity is Azum, the big-time hero. He and Safaro used to be inseparable. But ever since the dye shop started getting more clients, Azum has been left to patrol after school alone. Although his mother is Amira, one of the town gossips, he keeps a close eye of his own on the goings-on within the village. It may seem like simple child's play, but people really do straighten up when they know they're being watched. As long as he's on patrol, I think we have nothing to fear in Hotno Village from any would-be evildoers. Safaro is the son of Sage from the dye shop. He's a bit of a firebrand, but also one of my brightest students. After class, he always selects a book to read quietly by himself. He already reads at an adult level and doesn't shy away from difficult subjects, such as the calamity. The family business has been booming ever since Cece came to town, which may make it hard for him to study at home. Sage has an art artisan's spirit, artisan's, artisan spirit, and would, <laughs> artisan's, and would rather have his son helping out at the store than going to school. But everyone learns differently. I want our school to be a place where children can get an education no matter their needs. I understand you'll be heading soon to Hyrule Castle to investigate the reports of strange phenomena there. I trust you'll be fine with Link at your side. Nevertheless, I can't shake this strange tightness in my chest. It's similar to what I felt right before the Calamity, come to think of it. The children know you as Miss Zelda, their beloved teacher and mentor. But I know that Princess Zelda's duties are wider ranging than that. Take care, Princess, and return to us soon. Ah, the future of Hyrule. And there's also... What? What? Can you ring the school bell? Hit the, hit the clap, or the, the. That's how it's done. Oh, shoot. Oh, hey. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. That was smart. Are there kids coming into school? Oh, they're leaving. They're leaving. I... Did I send them home? No, it's 2.15. Alright. I I believe that. Okay, well, uh, we're done. There's still so much hot no left There's to explore. There's a lot of hot no. There's a lot to this to this village, yeah. but um we'll work on it next time. Or you will. Saving the game is a thing you should do, Josh Jepson. Hi. Yep. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh yeah, Hero's Path. Okay, you're right, Hero's Path. Hero's Path is fun. Let's uh let's finish alerts. Quick. And then do Hero's Path. And I'll have to remember to tell uh, Dan that Hero's Path is at the... Because we used to do that for Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's fun. That's a fun thing. It'll be fun. It, it, the first Hero's Path is going to be a little longer. Because, like... It has to catch up. It has to catch up. But, yeah, let's get through these quick. We got nine months from Duke Du. 
21, 21 months from Sweet Serene. Three bits of shy says, what kind of teacher are you? He's literally the only one and he's doing his best. That's why there's help wanted signs posted all over town. <laughs> doing his best. 300 from Colin the Game Boy, Simon. 10,000 years ago, a calamity was visited upon this land, off in the distance. Oh, sweet Jesus, the fields were aflame! <laughs> and, and actually, dear children, the hero that sealed the darkness is Link. <laughs> oh, God! Everything's burning! It was Link! Link! <laughs> I saw him do it! 300 from Omega Kayla, this is rice. Picture didn't happen. Read it from Shy. Kids these days have them read it in a book and they just brush it off. Show them an Instagram pic on your phone and suddenly they eat it all up. <sighs> okay, before we run art, we'll do Hero's Path. Actually, let's do art first because there's only two and Hero's Path will take longer. You're not going anywhere. I've learned my lesson from the Hydeo Lizards. I've learned my lesson. I'm not letting it happen again. Not happening again. Not doing it. It's too risky. There, I got the stupid thing. Now I'm teleporting the heck out of here. But don't you want to ride the fun wind tunnel up? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> See, wasn't that fun? Now you can teleport away. <sighs> we know what we're about. Yeah, fun. We're about fun. Fun. We're about fun. Always okay, fun. so uh, real quick then. Um, Real quick, or well, as long as it takes, I suppose. Let me pull this up so I can see it better. I'll try and remember to do, it'll take a little bit for me to. Get used to remembering? Yeah. Yeah. To get used to remembering. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Heroes path mode. So when we did Breath of the Wild, we always showed off Hero's, Hero's Path, path um, at the end of a stream. So for the YouTube episodes, every few episodes, it would show off like what we had done. It was a good reminder. This first one's going to be long, but uh, if we just go to the the how do I how do I go left and right? How do I make it back. go faster? It's it's going back, but it's not fast enough. No. If I go all the way to the right and hit play, you think it'll start over? I don't know. Oh, it won't go backwards more than one speed. Oh, wait, it will go backwards more than one speed. I just had to... Okay, I got figured out. I got figured hit out. Hit X again to start from the beginning. Okay, let me go to the, all the way to the right. Hold on. Okay. All right. Play. This is up. Okay. We're not paused, are we? No, it's just we were that long in the thing. Okay. We we, we have done a, a bit. Yeah. We could probably make it go a little bit faster than this. There we go. Maybe a lot faster than that. We were in the shrine. Came out. This was a whole thing. I like the big rectangle we made. Oh, a death. Oh, another death. That was when we were trying to fight the, the guy. Yeah, one and was then the we, guy. And then we were like, eh. We also did the SS Nut. That was good. The Sky Island was fun. This I think it was a very fun way to like show the tutorial part of the game. We, start, we were able to warp. <laughs> That's right, I fell and died. You did fall and die. It's going to be hard to keep up with sometimes when we're up. Yeah, and when we're down. And sometimes when we're down. But I'll do my best. It actually now shows it's down. you. It's going to yeah. be down. Yeah, and it puts the little person on the left yeah. there. So we went into the depths for the first time. Then up. Then we're back up here. Hop, skipping a jump, did the thing, stayed on the road for a little bit. <laughs> very wiggly there. Yeah. Very, very wiggly. Just spending some time. Whoa. These are certainly shapes. 
Those are certainly shapes. We're getting our we're getting our way into Rito. Slowly but surely. But we did the that's the Forgotten Temple. We did the Forgotten Temple. We warp back here because we're like, this isn't gonna do us any good. A death. <laughs> this is where we took the one Korok. Yes. Finally made our way to Rito Village. Things happened in Rito. Eventually, we have to do up. Like, making our way there. Now we're up. We warp back to the depths because we found the, the secret armor. Treasure chest. Now we went back up. Map. Now we're down here. We're just, like, making our way. We're, like, up and down a lot. That's the... This is us trying to get to the first big temple. But we haven't made it there yet. There were some deaths. Then we, we go there, we do the temple, we get Tulin. Tulin's with us. God bless his soul. There was a lot of temple... Now we're back here, back in Rito. We looked around Rito, did a shrine. We made the energy sword from Halo 2. <laughs> I don't know what that, what that's about. Back up in the air. To Sometimes we jump up in the air just to get, Teleport. just to like fly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotham Secret Hot Spring. Oh yeah, we that's when we, we started to look around for a thing and then we gave up because we we're like, I don't know what's going on. And we couldn't figure it out, so we were like, eh, whatever. And then we left. Then we started to head this direction. We were up in the air because we found some cool air stuff for a bit. Then we found the golden horse. Yeah. There's that thing over there, and we never went over there, did we? We were like, eh, and then we came back here. And this that's... is to Kakariko. Yeah. Well, we're not there yet, but... This is us, like, making the choice to finally start working towards there and we found some shrines along the way we died in the shrine okay back up in the air because we found some air stuff air stuff just doing a little air thing back down oh this is when we kept like coming in and out to oh that last death yeah. was that when the uh, hands came and got you maybe or no that's coming up is that to the right? Yeah, that maybe that's coming up. It was horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> we spent quite a bit of time, but also we had to investigate all the ruins, which yeah. is what all of this is, is just investigating all that stuff. Back to Lookout Landing. Back into the depths. Oh yeah, the Grove of Time. Scary trees. Don't like scary trees. Said never mind with that. Oh, we, we're still here. I had to learn about stuff. Yeah. And we came up here and then walked up a little bit to learn about energy cells. Now we're up there. We're down here. Oh, this is... Yeah. We're almost caught up to where we are. Air. No, not air yet. Now air. Now air. Just long enough to get down to hot now. Take a photo. That's it. All cut up. Well, from from so at this point forward, we will be doing it. After every stream, so every few episodes. Yeah. Um, cool. Cool. It's been quite a journey. And yet, we've done nothing. We've done nothing. Big game. Like, we have done... Like, we are in this area, but we just went... Yeah. We have done nothing. 
Like... Nothing. We nothing. have not scratched the surface at all. Game big. All right. Already, uh, already saved, so we should be, we should be good. Whew. Game big. Game very, very big. All right. We got a, we got a cooking. Yeah, let's do a cooking here. We got a thousand bits of socially awkward aspie. Let's do a little cooking, shall we? Topaz. Ruby. Sapphire. Diamond. Oh, opal, diamond, diamond bread. <laughs> Rock sandwich. Infinity gauntlet sandwich. That's that's a, a, a comic book reference. I know. There's a there's there's there's, Kep knows. A, there's a purple man. Kep knows. I don't remember the man's name. Me neither. But he's a, I never he's, saw the movie. He's purple man and he has a big fist. And he snaps his finger. Grimace. <laughs> it's Grimace. It's Grimace. Yeah. It's Grimace. Socially awkward Aspie. Thank you. Uh, that was a fun stream. Uh-huh. That was a fun stream. Zelda fun. <laughs> Brandon? <laughs> uh, I enjoyed that a lot. Um, so, what, what... What raid messages have we um, created? I'm just super curious. I'm just super, super curious. <laughs> Stick a snowman on it. Two hot dogs touching is good. Stick a um, snowman on it. Stick a snowman on it is good. Magic wet. Mouth to straight from the udder. Grapes are not silent. Grapes are not silent was the first one. <sighs> These are all great. These are all super great. I love them all. Do whatever you want. Who are we, who are we gonna? Uh, yeah, Jeff's on. Jeff's not often streaming when we're streaming, mm -hmm. so you're gonna go. You're gonna go to Jeff. You're gonna go to Jeff. Jeff is doing. Uh, Jeff is doing Fortnite. Which is a game where you. Is this still Fortnite? It is Fortnite. I don't know what Fortnite is anymore. I'm not entirely sure what Fortnite is. Like, it, there was a point in time where I really thought I knew. I don't know anymore. I'm not sure at all. Yeah. Before before you leave, uh, things to note. Um, new Patreon video is out. So patrons, have a look at that. It just came out. Brand new. Uh, it's got some really good information in it. Um, some fun things coming up. So check, What's Stephen check it out. Stephen Friends tomorrow? Stephen Friends tomorrow is Broken Phone. Ooh. It's broken phone and it's really great and I sincerely hope that you enjoy it. It's it's a fun one. Uh, other than that, uh, there's, I've been getting vlogs out, so check them out. Mm -hmm. I actually I have a vlog ready to release? release in the morning, okay. so I'll release it in the morning, so you can check it out then. Uh, that's it. Have a good one. Have a good weekend and do something for you. Enjoy Jeff's stream. Make sure you say one of the random crazy things that we've put in here. I will see y'all on Tuesday morning for breakfast stream. Chaz was doing the, the raids, so I'm like, I'll just let Chaz do it. Oh, Cap's hungry. He getting hungry. He getting ornery. He getting angry. He getting ornery and Still angry. angry. Ornery and angry. Touching, two hot dogs touching. Well, I don't know what led to that raid message. But <laughs> I, I accept it. Welcome on in, folks. Two hot dogs touching. Anyway, uh, Jeff, have a good stream. Two hot dogs touching. Uh, that's that. That's that's it. Thank you all for being here. Uh, that's, I don't think I got anything else necessarily to, um, say or do. I saved the video game, right? I saved Just the save video again. game. Because Just... you don't trust that I saved? I saved, but I will do it again. Thank save you. the game again. I feel better. Thanks. Glad you do. I'm gonna close this. I'll close the software. And I'll put Pikmin in, because that'll be the next thing. 
Um, yeah, that, uh, I keep, I, I kept feeling like there's there something else to announce, but I guess not. No. Nope. I guess the thing that I was thinking of is that yesterday was day 5,000, but like, that's not a thing. No. That's not like, oh, watch out. This is coming up, but it, that doesn't matter. And also it's like, it happened. So, um, yeah, so we're good. Thanks, Padawan Becca. We're good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That does, yeah, that does mean that today is 5,001. Thanks for hanging out on day 5,001. Uh, all right, y'all have a good one. And um, I'll see you uh, Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning. Yeah. I don't know when Disco Only is. It's not Tuesday. I don't know when. It's, it's really not even my problem to figure out. Honest to God. Like, I don't know. I don't know when it is. All right. See y'all later. Bye.